Hope you got your aim right. So we came in, it's game time. MTC, get your aim right. Get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick. It's game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger. I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the dope. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the dope. I'm talking back then. We used to rock out on the cell phone. Facebook Live got you and stuck just like it's Velcro. You see it's growing. I can do this by myself, though. Perfect game with it. Little shoulder and some elbow. Get sit and watch us do it. Straight out the basement. Now it's on the TV. You can view it. You go against the team. That I'm with and you surely lose it. We don't respect the talking, we from where you gotta prove it. Someone turn up the music. We love the competition, we gon' rock out till we finish. Josh Apparel with the jersey, time to get the fitting. They boosting up my adrenaline anytime I'm winning. I like it, I don't lose focus, the target, I'm a hit. Get your aim right, get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night. That's a bullseye, how about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal. Y'all, real ball, we took all the smoke. They know who we are. Best not. What is up? Hopefully you're hearing us out there. What's up, everyone? Good little scare today is uh, the power went out at about 612 out here in Taylor. So had to do a uh, sorry about that. Had to hit them with the mic down there. But uh, sorry about that. We're just a little communication with the players down there. So, long story short, power did get back on, but Josh had to come in. It threw a bunch of stuff out of whack, so we uh, did some tweaks, and I uh, think we're back up full throttle here, so hopefully you guys are uh, going to enjoy a good stream. It seems like the wind and the rains may be gone, so uh, we should be good for the rest of the evening. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I see Ronnie and Scotty out there, man. What's going on? What's going on, everyone? Josh, Josh from the... Fixing it, fixing it right into the chat. Appreciate yeah. give him a shout out for getting yeah. this up and running because we uh, nearly weren't able to stream tonight. But thank you, Josh. He uh, after working all day and doing some yeah. tweets, the power goes out and he has to do it again. So power out is definitely a little scary around here. Chris Summers, what's up? What's up, everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Give us a like and a share. Dan Taylor looks like he had a power outage out there as well. Got Katie in here with me again tonight. What's up? What's everyone doing on this Monday night? PJ able to grab that diddle there, so it looks like uh He's gonna start it up. Looks like he's gonna start us up. Right in the trip twenty it is. Nice open there. Yeah, that's a good way to start game one. You kinda wanna you know, last thing you wanna do in game one is just open flat. It's like Win Give the this, diddle and then uh, don't yeah, hit anything. and two mark, you know, yeah. single single <laughs> yeah. trip trip one or something. Yes. It doesn't even really have to be bad darts per se. But what's up, cat? I see you out there. Hi, cat. Great seeing you on Saturday, babe. Yeah, what a great time that was. So PJ staying in the triples here with a, another first dart. Good. Nothing on the second or third, but pretty good position early. Polly had all kinds of trouble getting out here with uh, ninety four was. Mm -hmm floods and even katie coming down uh from from telegraph and basically cherry hill area and um all mess for her too as well so especially you can get through that heinz park and all that the low yep. areas yeah there were lights yeah. out branches everywhere so everything was uh trying to keep us away from the stream tonight but it didn't happen yeah but yet here we are here we are dedication to all to all the players and yeah. viewers and even to ourselves been looking forward to this all day so Cat says, great shooting Saturday, girl, and I have to agree with that. What a fun tournament watch and a, and a great run by my partner in the booth here as uh, she made all the way to the finals, ultimately losing only to the champion, uh, Olivia, Terry, Olivia Terry, at the end. And Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. It was a lot of fun. I definitely uh, shot a lot of darts that night. Yeah, it was. It was uh, It was great. The girls had a great time. I, I, the viewers were, were good, and 
I'm, I'm much happier we had the, the power problems today. That would have been oh, oh it would have been, been a nightmare. Madhouse. And we don't even know what's wrong with board two. We think it possibly could have damaged the capture card. So something we'll start working on tomorrow and get that straightened out before the uh, All Star Challenge on Saturday. We got enough means to. Uh, Oh yeah. To stream a uh, grudge series, but with that with that event, we're gonna want to stream both boards, so we're gonna get right onto that and hopefully get that straightened out before the weekend. PJ in a uh, good form here. PJ shooting yeah, great. As I would expect from him, I know Paulie does play a lot. PJ with golf with the he does his golf leagues and and the the boys baseball. They're just so busy. So honestly, I. I it doesn't sound like he was playing a whole lot. He, no, he, he was up here chatting for a minute. He's, you know, it's just hard for him to get out with uh, all the stuff he's got going on. Uh, you know, kids and sports takes up uh, any parent's time. So it's nice to see him down there tonight. Yeah, and especially when you're you're coaching too, you know. So I know they're running oh, yeah. practices and, and they do some travel tournaments. They they're a busy busy little bunch over there, and uh, so. He did say he got to the G3 the other day and played for a while, but he said everybody online was typically quite a bit lower averages, and, and he really wasn't finding a whole lot of good matchups. But he said his darts felt good. so Yeah, and it's showing tonight. He's I would say, starting yeah. off good right now. Showing in leg one here, that's for sure. Yeah, and he's not letting Polly uh, keep a number open, really, because, I mean, we've seen Polly shooting, you know, sevens on these numbers, and he's shutting them down before he can get them up too high. There we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. PJ's got that yeah. one. And, and with Paulie, the way the transportation went, I, I I wouldn't be surprised if you see a game or two where he just and he didn't shoot bad, but where until he really finds that rhythm that we we're used to seeing, where he's you know in the fiber range every single game or, oh, or, I agree. or above. Yeah, and he shot great last game. Uh, maybe starting off here will uh, give him the advantage and uh, take this win. But PJ's not going to let him slow down, that's for sure. Yeah, PJ's got a really good pace early. He's uh, He looks uh, looks prepared. He's going for that 19. Yeah, well, Paulie loves that 19. I mean, you may even see him shoot it in the 01. He just He's such a good 19 shooter. Yeah, that was a great shot. Not that he really has many numbers he struggles with, but I... I Sure to say that that's at or near the top of his favorites list. So first little hiccup from PJ there, but going second in the leg. And I think there's a, there could be a lot of back and forth going on with these wins tonight too, uh, based on who starts first. Yeah, and I'm not exactly sure track record heads up with these guys, but I'm sure they've tangled a bunch of times, and I'm sure they both have won and lost the matchup. Oh yeah, because uh, they, you know, we play a lot in the same areas, state tournaments, and all that. And, and they're both at a loss in the uh, Grudge uh, series. So. Only a loss, too. They yet to, yet, they've only played once a piece. But yep. in um, PJ's defense, he did just play when it was the one set format. He played. Uh, he did so. He lost. I believe it was nine to five to Brent. Okay. So he's yet to play since the O one has been incorporated, and Paulie losing in the tiebreaker to his brother on the the match when he was here. Yeah, I think he wants some redemption on the stream tonight to show. Uh, PJ, what he's got? Yeah, they were both. I had texted and uh, talked with both of them leading up to this, even even during the uh, well, the day after. They texted during the ladies' event, but I didn't get most of my replies out to the next day. But they're excited and looking forward to it. And I know uh, for Paul, it's a little bit of work. I know Mondays are usually good for him with the, as far as sitter and getting out here and in time because it must take him 40 minutes probably. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm sure from where he's coming from. And PJ's right around the block, so it's yeah, just yeah. PJ's a, literally a jog. walking distance. <laughs> so the table's kind of turned here. PJ is just uh, shooting some great darts in this match. Oh, we missed a. Uh, oh, sorry, we were missing some of your guys' chats. Missed a bunch. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, so it looks like Chris is Chris is working. We had it bad here. So Ronnie had some storms too. Yeah, it came through pretty hard. PJ's shoes, are they pink, Dan asked. I'm not sure. We'll have to look at that. The black light changes everything back there. They could be orange, but with his shirt being pink, it wouldn't surprise me if he had the matching shoes. I agree. I see my man X out there. What's going on, my brother? What up, X? Ron Otto says, Katie, you shot great on Saturday, girl. 
Thank you, Ronnie Mac. I appreciate it. No, Brent. No, those uh, those first matches stand as they are. Just we've had to tweak the series. Brent says PJ and I can redo it. It's uh, no, the the losses stand as they are because that that's what the series was at the time. You know, so it's uh, no redos. That's what it is. It is what it is. I don't know why that's trying to come. Uh, but yeah, it uh, it definitely um, yeah, it stands. He's he's fine with everyone's fine. There's other guys. I, I believe uh, Tim Sheehan only played when it was a single. Single match. Howard Hill, one of his, uh, one of the times he was defeated was uh, just in cricket. But look at Polly turning this around. Yeah, this game has gone back and forth. It's a great times. game. Both both right at or near the five zero five zero mark for the game, and they're uh, into the eighth round here. Another PJ trip? continuing oh, to grind, and he is probably wanted that last one though. This is opportunity, Paul here. But if you're going back and forth with uh, when you start, you're holding. That's that's all you want to do. The first we see that a lot, especially in the cricket. The first four to six games, it seems like we get a, a lot of back and forth. So yeah, I agree. Krista checking in with us. What's up, Krista? Hopefully you and uh, the kids got power over there. What up, girl? My dad. Uh, my dad not too far from from her, and he. Uh, wow! What a shot by PJ. Great and shot from PJ. He still had power a little while ago, so. Really putting the pressure on Polly to uh, hit these three bowls. David Flowers says, what's up, Katie and Shadi? What's going on, David? Go Polly from Bogey. What's up, David? And uh, Chris Norquist, our guy, says, what's going on, Katie and Scott? How what's are you, up, my Chris? man? What's up, Chris? Hope you had a good Monday out there. Uh, I know he had to be feeling good as he, he treated me to the, the floating spa the other yeah, day. Yeah, how'd you uh, like that? It was amazing. It was. I literally want to put one in next month's giveaway. I mean, I think yeah. people should experience they're, that. They're really It was good. awesome. It was awesome. I, the best sleep I've had in, in a while. So that's and, uh, PJ? So pa oh, PJ does go to, yep. And, uh, and just I, I felt really good today, too. My back, you know, since the surgery and stuff, always a little tight. But today I felt pretty good. Good. I'm glad it worked out. Um, those are definitely relaxing, and everyone should uh, try the floating spa if you haven't yet. It's definitely worth it. It had me feeling ready, like I was ready for a practice session. I was like, you know what? I think it's time. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got job. down there <laughs> whiffed real bad on the first day. Like, yeah, well, <laughs> you know, my back. <laughs> Sounded great. <laughs> yeah. Chris said we could make that happen, so... You know, uh, we probably could, it's, but we did yeah. have enough local winners where somebody could have selected. I it. agree. And, and, you know, Dan, I would say it'd work on a anywhere with uh, some soreness. And yeah. It's just, uh, it's basically Epsom salt and it's a 95 degree water. And uh, you, even mentally, you know, if you're stressed, you yeah, yeah it really does just take you away from everything. My vibe was like modern hippie, if I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I definitely was. You know, like, you're floating in salt water. Yeah, and you know? all the music is like it just feels like yeah. Cheech and Chong should be there. Yeah. You know? and it was <laughs> awesome. I loved it. Aaron Very points nice. out the, about uh, PJ's pace. It it really is relentless. Both these guys I feel like pretty fast. They players. are pl yeah. fast players. I think you know. <laughs> I told him let's get done before nine thirty. Abe goes live. You yeah. Know? He, he's looking forward to to tuning in and cheering Abe on later on today in the TOC. So oh, I'm looking forward to that too. Good luck to Abe out there. Hope you kick some butt tonight. Says Kev's out there. I haven't seen. I didn't see him comment, but I see Ron Otto says, "What's up, freight train? What's going on, Kev?" What's up, everyone? Thanks for tuning in. We're up to about fifty-six viewers now, so we appreciate you. Yeah, hopefully, you guys, getting that liked and shared out there, and uh, like I said, back up and running with. Uh, Power goes out at six twenty-one, and you're live <laughs> at seven. You know the guys are already on their way. It's like, uh oh. But it was back on by 626. And yeah, if you got someone like Josh, uh, he knows what to do, that's for sure. Yeah, and he got in and tweaked it out. We had unplugged and moved some HDMI ports around and figured out. That we believe we may have lost the capture card, but hopefully that's not the case. But if it is, we'll uh, get that fixed right away and just take that $300 punch to the chin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. What up? Oh, I see you out there. And we see the wife checking in. Kelly Ray, how are you, girl? She says, let's go, Philip." What's up, Kelly? Be Jeezy on the like out there. What's up, Brian? Probably about to play some dart leagues. What up, Gannon? What up, Kev? Hope you're doing well. Hope everyone's enjoying this Monday. So, uh, winner advances and the loser is out of the grudge series. 
and uh, this is Babe. a big night for both of these guys. Eight. Plays is eight, but Almost yeah, nine. trip, trip, trip. Yeah. <laughs> Plays like eight. Plays like eight. <laughs> Todd, hey, what's up, my man? He's checking in to, to, for the status of that 50 and over event. I've been oh, getting yeah. a lot of feedback from from some of the guys that I that I came up and started with, and uh, they're just a few years older than me, as I'll be 47 this year. And Jim Frost actually stopped by the other day, was in the neighborhood, and he was like, I really like the sound of that 50 yes. and up. I said, all you guys do. And oh, we yeah. Get, That'd be a great one. Most feedback except for the ladies' tournament as far as before it happened. Yeah. You know, people like, let's get it out. So it is definitely uh, – definitely something we want to do we got a lot of the the indie guys that i played so much darts with through the years that i'd like to kind of cross a you know michigan indiana type crowd that'd if, be a lot if, of fun if we can and i think those guys that have a blast pj continues to apply pressure to this uh this match and he did it last game and probably missed them three bowls and pj got his two to win it so we'll see what he does on these 15s and still with that you know that Early in the set, but it is probably probably coming in a little late. Yeah. For me as a person, when I came in a little late, probably a little tense, and, and you drop the first two games, so it could intensify a little bit on the on the settling in because we saw the the level of play that Paul can bring in that, oh, that opening set with his brother. He just he literally had to average you know four yeah. four four six range. He was I really feel like playing these well. Games, uh, he's just getting warmed up. Yeah. So it's about to go down. And and you you know knowing he probably. Knew that PJ was a little rough, but we all know what a competitor he is. PJ is never going to come here and not be ready, at least as ready as he can be. I know he's very busy, but yeah, he's just an intense. And it doesn't matter what sport PJ plays. He's yeah. just great in anything. He really he, is. Uh, if you play cornhole or bold or yeah. golf with him, yeah, he's definitely yep. he's an intense competitor. And uh, he um he definitely has zero intentions of, of mm. being out of the uh, series tonight. As with Paul, I'm sure Paul has all expectations of winning back-to-back -back matches and making it into the survivor round oh, where yeah. there will be just eight. It might actually end up being nine players in there. I think I may have did the math wrong, but either way, it's once you get into the uh, survivor round, everybody is now level and a win will send you back or a loss will send you back. And so nice with losing your first match, you basically have no more to give because you have to win out to get in and you have to win out to win. So, that's These awesome. guys are in a position where they have to win five matches in a row to become the champion. But two guys who could do it. Definitely. Sorry, Kelly. She said you're making his head bigger. He hasn't heard it yet, so <laughs> yeah. you have to deal with that part of him tomorrow. Yeah, he can't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> another great win so from PJ. PJ with another plus one as he moves to the... 3-0 mark, and I'm really going to look for Paul to just turn one in right here. Just just play a good game. It's it's time. He knows it. You got to do what you do. He's got uh, my favorite jersey on. That's the squad where Paulie was actually the player who threw the game-winning dart in that event. I will never. I will never forget. I know we won't. He didn't get in forever, and I don't know how Ducky got so unlucky on a couple of busts. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Trav is always eating really good. That sounds great, too. Jersey Mike's and wings to top up. And this darts, his I good buddy go on the board. Right now. I could, Jersey Mike's don't sound too shabby either. <laughs> Day Day, what up? James? My man Day Day out there. Q, how's it going? Thanks for checking Q in, in everyone. Q, Q checked in, yep. too. Yeah, what's up, Q? Brandon Q. So, here, Polly looks a little more subtle, but PJ has uh, definitely played uh, – Played well from behind when the the times that he has been behind, he's been able to produce some pretty big marks and uh, keep himself in the leg and try to steal in the finish. He has. Polly's got to really take advantage of this uh, right now. That was kind of kind of your mo on Saturday. I thought, Katie. I thought you uh, grinded out, kept yourself in a lot of those matches, and just so many times you had one dart to survive, and and you were probably four for four on those yeah. darts, and that was for me that was the difference and. Yeah, well, one thing I tried to work on was just the mental part of the game and not getting discouraged because, you know, you know you're know, you going to throw some bad darts, you're going to throw some good ones just to never give up, and that's what I tried to do, and it uh, seemed to work pretty well. Yeah, you did. It, it's the uh, MDC way, as, I liked, as I've been referring to it. I thought you – you know, it was wasn't that you were throwing the best darts yeah. in the whole room. You were just grinding, and you were you kept yourself in matches, and, and you were winning with 
with with clutch and and that's uh that's kind of what we work on here and stuff like that and and uh it was a good uh good example of it and uh and a great run so yeah, it was a lot of fun thank you for having us Kev's still loving Android on what we must be about day eight or nine by now. I love it. <laughs> He's got to be loving that phone. <laughs> Big shot from Polly here. Yeah, Great is. shot. Got to ride so, it. So this this level has been really high. All these winners have been at the pretty much at the five zero. You got six zero to five and a quarter right here. Great match. Derek Minton, what's happening, buddy? And I would expect nothing less from them. As they go back to back. Wow. PJ said, don't call me out. Paulie's like, damn this guy. Probably. Yeah. You know, it's oh, like, yeah. I finally get he, separation. Seriously, PJ he, just he continues has to, to apply pressure yeah. on him. He's not going away. Yeah, he's going to close it here, it looks like. No, he doesn't. Oh. So double bull, double bull, fat 18 would be a steal. It would be a ridiculous steal if he pulls this off. Oh, my There's God, one. he's got a shot, There's and he does. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. That is some great darts That's right a there. That's a bounty shot. Yeah, luckily, wow. there was no bounties because that was costing somebody 50. Oof. Double bull, double bull. That's usually the one I go. Double bull, double bull, anything else to finish. I'll tell you what, with a comeback like that, that was he's amazing. He's definitely feeling good. That might get its own clip. I'm going to make a reel out of oh, that yeah. one, I think. Just one single reel. Yeah. Did that count a point? Is he up 4 0 now? Or was it 3 0? That was game three, that right? Game right. Scoreboard, uh, we're, we're, we're good. I believe I put the, th the point on there. So we're on match four now. Okay, cool. If anybody's got a scoreboard check, check that's different, we'll take it. But we, I believe I put the point on. We, I believe we're yeah, 3 0. Yeah, I think you did. Straight fire. Oh, it is 4 0, Kev says. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right, because I I did say with Polly down 3-0, you're not going to want to let you up. Look at uh, the whole – that lit the stream chat up there. It sure what did. a shot, though. I mean, it's – that just – that's – I mean, that's the only shot he could have hit. It Anything is. else is no good. You yep. know what I mean? You and Polly only I mean, needed one. He could have pointed for a bull, but Polly yeah. would go up there and need a fat 18 and a bull. I mean, it's the only way you win the game. Hey, put two two darts in the double bull and then uh, go ahead and cap that off with the fat 18. And Polly hit his two. He just missed his third bowl with his last dart for the win, and PJ came and took it right away from him. I see my cousin David out there. What's up, cuz? Yeah, Thanks for big, tuning in tonight. Big uh, big support. He watched you all night on Saturday yeah. as well. He was in the, pretty active in the chat with me and Josh and uh, appeared to be having a good time watching you win and get, get, all, well, get to the final and make a good run, so... I see the champs out there in the chat as well. She sure is. What we got up, the scissors Olivia? in the booth with us here. We love the prop. We yep. love loved everything about it. The the prop was it's a big deal. Everyone that's come over, I've showed them. Check these out, and they're oh, a yeah. big hit here at the club. Clip it. I'm gonna they're have to great. hang hang them up a little high so Danny can't get to yeah. them because <laughs> yeah. he's also gonna They'll love be them. Done for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. Brent calling for the scoreboard police, but hey, we love it. it helped right there because yeah. I only had it at three oh. They they have their official score. They we give them a scorecard and everything, so they know uh, they know what's going on. Yeah, they do. And you know, Chris is watching, so I'm sure he will uh, definitely tell us as well. Yep, he he'll drive over if we screw it up again. I, yeah. I knew these guys. I told them I needed yep. a day off. <laughs> so quite a. Quite a few checked in as we hit the 70 mark here. Appreciate you guys that have all liked and shared. And if you haven't, if you could, that'd be great. Get these guys out here. They got a race to nine in cricket and then a race to nine 501. If those sets are split, they will play a tiebreaker, which would be a combo set. And that becomes race to four. So should have quite a bit of darts for you here. We hope to take you right into about the 930 hour. If you're watching darts all night at that point, you can switch over and check out our good buddy Abe Smith on the TOC stream as he plays, uh, I believe, uh, his second match in the series of the CSC tonight. So we'll be rooting for Abe from back home. Oh, yeah, definitely going to be checking that out. I would say he's normally in here with us, but he might be doing a little pregame and, and playing. Uh, I hope he is getting ready for the stream. I don't know how long Abe likes to warm up, but yep. us older players, a little bit older players like to get some reps in and 
Get ready for it. Not calling Abe old or anything, but I'm just saying I'm sure he likes a few early reps. He's a guy that does like to do some practicing. Oh, yeah. Olivia, you're hilarious. Yeah, these are <laughs> these are some of the guys in the uh, premiere series. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are uh, PJ's qualified PJ will for be sure. there. <laughs> yeah. And Polly, uh, Polly made a run at it, won't be in, but we are doing a season two, and I, I hope that Polly will get at least an opportunity to play in one, if not more, to try to get him get himself into a season two. He was one that I thought was one of the favorites. The oh, one hundred percent. He definitely deserves to be there too. So I hope he makes another run in the uh, second one you do to uh, who, get his spot in there. Who did beat him when uh, Jimmy Boone? Thanks for the share. Do you remember who knocked him out? He only came um, for one regional, or I mean one qualifier. I just can't remember who eliminated him. Was it was it Tom. It could it could have been Tom. I I I don't remember. If anyone remembers, let us know. Put it in the chat. Was it Topsky? I can't remember. Was it it Jason? might have been Topsky. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's a great question. These guys have uh, played in so many of them. PJ is absolutely motoring right now. He really is. I, he, that's all three. That's all his games in, in, in the five. And Paulie has a job. That's that it's might be the like, lowest Paulie's yeah. been at four two two. These averages have been top notch. So Dina did say it was. It was Jay. It was Jay. Okay. So yeah, I thought it was because I thought I remembered thinking it would be a potential good for this series. Yeah. A lot of times we like to take our our grudge series that came out of. It's not personal vendettas, obviously. Grudge just means that maybe they've had a match that was really close before, and yep. and we take a lot of them from our qualifiers and stuff. So. Sydney Vaughn out there. What's up, my man? Pre appreciate you checking in with us. What's up, Sid? Wonder if Ohio got the same uh, storm we did. You guys uh, nice and dry over there? Or? Yeah, it ripped through here hard. There was uh, a lot of, lot of. I looked outside. The trees were bent. I mean, the big trees, too. Yeah. Like this. It oh. was crazy. It felt like I was driving through a jungle on the way here. All right. Polly needs to take advantage of this and... Uh, yeah, he's definitely got to get on the board. This is the exact spot he had his brother in. I think I want to say Paulie yes. jumped out like won the first five games the last time he was here. So it's complete role reversal. Oh, definitely. Because he was the one. He remember he had all those white horses early. He played an in, in in, incredible, uh, incredible pace when in those that opening set versus brother. He, he did. We were just talking about that. He had a really high average. Definitely lights out. Most likely up over the four or five range. So PJ's got to be peel feeling pretty good right now. He's up 5-0 on Polly. He's still shooting great. Miranda Miranda says hello, Katie. Watching with Travis on the 85 inch. So what's up, Miranda? Thanks for checking in. Hope you're doing well out there, babe. Sounds like you guys are eating good over there. Looks like they got a little little dark all of a sudden. Did my light go out or something? Big shot from Polly here. Big shot, Polly. Paula, Paula Clark. Clark, what up? What's up, girl? Brian Cooper, thanks for the like. Zach Merritt. Hope you guys are doing well. So I'm going out on the limb and saying that this six point two five is getting Polly on the board here. Oh yeah, that's right exactly, now. That's, that's what it took from the. He's gonna one have hole. to. Yeah, from the and even in the one hole, and he's still. I mean, he's safer, but it, it, I still wouldn't call it absolutely safe the way uh, PJ showed. He closed that game out last time, so there it is. There it is. So Polly gets a uh, win, and he is on the board. What's up, my aunt Cheryl? Uh, just gave us a like. Thank you for tuning in, Aunt Cheryl. Hope you're doing good out there. It was great seeing you yesterday at the Heinz Cruise. Hello, Aunt Cheryl. How are you? <laughs> Me and Scotty are in the booth tonight. Hanging out, kicking it, talking darts, watching darts. My cousin said he's officially a dart fan now. I love it. It's, pre it's pretty cool. It helps when you know the people, whether oh, they're yeah. on the mic yep. or on the board, or in his case, both. Uh, yep. Saturday night, is he was... Uh, Got to got to talk with Josh quite a bit with Josh being in here and uh, experienced in the in the booth. He uh, definitely uh, pretty active in the chat and then you here tonight and you were on the, the board the other day. So, yeah, I love it. I love uh, that the fam's watching. So thank you. You guys are going to see some great matches tonight against uh, Polly and PJ. They are two phenomenal shots and the winner advances and the losers out. So they are playing for uh, their spot to stay in the grudge series. 
Susie Q. Thank you for the share, babe. Sue, so what's going on, girl? Looked like uh, the family had a good time uh, camping over the weekend. I saw saw the pics with you and Dom and everybody up there and Brent. The seemed like uh, seemed like everybody was uh, having. Look, a, yeah, it looked like you guys had a blast. <laughs> had a good time. Well, what a great place to spend a weekend. Oh yeah. Back to the nineteen. Oh, and he missed it on his third. If he can rally a couple off, because it's you know it's hard to hold that level. Although PJ, I mean PJ's in a position to take advantage of this. His uh, when he gets when he gets red hot, he's he's definitely one of the the top guys down there and hardest to beat. And that was what we saw in the regional was, I keep saying regional qualifier was uh, the night the night he won the very first one when he got in was. I mean, everybody, the whole house had Gary Clark win, and Gary was just motoring through everybody, and P.J. caught a patch like he did in those first five games. Yeah. Where he just only missed about a handful of darts through a five- or six-game, you know, five- or six-game uh, set, and uh, he was able to get in, which in a way was, I think, a little bit for a bummer for him because he didn't get to compete in the rest of them. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? like, yeah. So it's like, man, you it just sucks. Just got to sit and watch all of them. Winning the first one, so he's yeah. he's anxious to get back in action. I'm oh sure. yeah. yeah, and he's definitely uh, showing it too. Yeah, that sounds like a scary combo, Brent and uh, Brent and Dennis pounding out a fifth of Jaeger in an hour. That doesn't even sound fun. They're very capable of drink Jaeger <laughs> with both those guys. Yes. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> So Polly picks up six there. PJ still got these 17s, so. 18. No, he's and stayed he's on spun it. it around. I'm he, surprised he didn't go up top and try and shut down that 18, but he's keeping Polly in it by not and with doing only, that. He only had five marks after yeah. his first six darts, so he's really picked it up now that he's back up over the 4.0 mark and right in this ball game, forcing Polly with a, a big shot here. Looks like he's going to deliver. Picks up the close and 72 points. So, going to force PJ to the corners. I expect uh, three extremely fast darts right here. I think he knows exactly what he's doing. Tough first. Well, he gets 215, so not that great. Polly uh, can definitely take advantage of this and... He's probably breathing a little easy yes. after that because PJ's made such a great move in in that position in these last six games. So, and and Polly quick to capitalize with triple triple. Huge shot. And picks up a, eighteen more points on his extra dart as well. So, good seven in there. a position to win back to back games, depending on what PJ's going to do to these bullseyes here. Looks like he should get a hat trick. He does. He gets a four bowl hat. Picks up 25 points on that. So he's going to keep Polly honest where he hasn't closed great with the hats yet. But with this little bit of comfort lead, I don't think that he per se has to have a hat trick this term, but I'm sure he'd like one. We're used to him watching him closing. Usually Polly's one of those guys. If he comes up with three to go, he's gone. I agree. And he uh, picked up his second win. So 5 2. Polly's got to be feeling real good right now. Feel like he. Uh, is throwing poly darts now. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. relax you because when you're down at zero and one win and you, and you know they're getting, you know, eking closer to nine every turn, it, it does. You, Especially players of this this caliber, they're not in the position where they, you know, get beat with real lopsided scores very often. Yeah, I agree. What's up, Jeremy? Yes, that is me in the booth today. Hope you're doing well out there. What's happening, Jeremy? Me and Shadi are bringing you guys all the fun in this match with uh, PJ and Polly. And 34 minutes in, we were seven games, seven games done in the game eight Very here. Fast, so fast I, pace. I love the fast pace players. <laughs> My too. favorite, you know, let's uh, let's rock it out. We're really not worried about stream time, how long they have to be. So fast pace for me is a better watch. It, it's quick. It's always something happening. And PJ just continues to deliver. Great Polly, shot from PJ there. Polly with the 6-0. Coming back to the line here, going to probably look to put in a big score on the 18s. What's up, Denise and Lauren? Hope you guys are doing well. Russell, no hustle Russells out there. Seven mark for Paul. Jeremy says, great job Saturday. Thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate that. I'm glad you were able to tune in and watch it. 
He did. He was there. He was there. I would say pretty much the whole time, and he definitely had mentioned quite quite a few times live that he was impressed. With quite a few players were that just kept grinding along and chipping away. I appreciate that. Thanks for all the uh, support for the ladies that night. We definitely appreciated it. Yeah, we I think all the, all the ladies really came and, and showed that they uh, they the super stream worthy. It was an excellent event. The high, I thought really high caliber darts we saw. I mean the. You know, Olivia wasn't really threatened I, I, very often. She played, she played very well and dominant. And then all, all you guys, I, I oh, felt yeah. everybody from the top, from the champion all the way down to, you know, even somebody has to be the first one out. So, yeah. You know, so it's, but we saw some great darts and. Uh, Any one of those ladies had the potential to win. So, you know, just the field alone was so great to compete against. And uh, we had a blast. All of us are, you know, good friends. I met the young uh, a Olivia for the first time and you know she shot great darts it was great getting her here to be on the stream and uh you know kind of show her how the MDC does it yeah the support was great for all the players I, I feel like everybody had their own uh fans in the chat and there were people who came in and just piggy oh, yeah. along I was someone that they were like wow they're playing good and you know so it was uh it was definitely uh Definitely a great way to kick off any type of ladies' events that we plan. If that's our first one and, and things can only get better from there, we're in a really good place because uh, I got to say they leave the place much cleaner than the, the fellas do. Uh, great job on that. Tip hey, of the cap to you ladies out there. <laughs> it was very, very nice down there. when uh, Chris appreciated it as well as I. Yeah. Maya Berger, what's up, my guy? Checking in. Thanks for the like out there. What's up, Maya? Hope you guys had a fun week. I think some of you guys went camping. I don't know if you were our, uh, one of them. Big time camping time yeah. this time of year. You know, with the with the kids going back to school pretty much this week or next week. I think they're. I think I saw it. They might have went back today. I, th I thought I. Uh, nice, great shot from Polly there. Gets his points up. What's up, Brian Henry? What's happening, Brian? I'm sure, he's out there getting ready for. Uh, I'm sure, he's going to be on site for Abe. There's Bane, Chucky the OG around here. What's up, security? Founder at Chucky. the club. What's he going was, on, uh, Greg? He was our, our hired security. We didn't want the, the ladies to have any type yeah. of uh, stalker issues or anything. So we, had, <laughs> we, had, uh, we had Chuck on site. and It was really hard for anybody to cause any ruckus or get an extra cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> I was messing with them because he wouldn't bring me one. They were so good, man. Staff, that was, uh, the food, that was another thing the ladies did. Is like, yeah, I'll just put my crop pack away. And there was so much good stuff out there. So, everyone definitely good, good times. Night. Good times. Oh. Everybody chipped in. We had a great team here running it. And it was nice. Kelly uh, had quite a few of the players park around the block and come over together. That helps out with the. The parking here in the neighborhood. Big what a shot. shot. From Polly. What a shot. That's fight right there. He's looking to get three on the trot here and get back within two. No game shot, but there's PJ finding that opening dart double. Oh my God. Wow. He is good. What a monster. <laughs> what a monster. He made Paul, all I could do is smile like Jesus. I know. Now it's three to one. <laughs> Did you see his smile? I mean, yeah, yeah. I wish I would have clipped it. He was like, you know, he's thinking, damn. Oh, for it. sure. I mean, and he throws a ton of hats. So he, he still gets, gets it. it. Good for you, Paul. That's hard to fight through. Oh, yeah. 5.54 sure. 5 and almost had it swiped. I, that is just excellent to stay focused and it hit is. that. It, hit that with three, two darts, too. He just won three straight. I, um, it is three, three on the track. Three straight, yep. So great run from Polly right now. What's up, uh, yep, Jake and TJ? Oh, Brian, Brian and Meyer both getting set up for Abe, so that's awesome. cool. We believe Abe to be on the practice board right now. Oh, yeah. We will be cheering him on tonight. Quick break at game eight here. Probably bathroom and freshen up a beer or drink, possibly. So cool. I love it. We get these pop-ups now in the chat where you can uh, put your prediction in on uh, who's going to take the win tonight. Oh, man. What did Josh, Josh do next? Josh He's so just sick. on his game he with this sick. stuff. Up over 80 viewers now, too. I'm so curious appreciate if you guys, you guys are seeing these uh, pop-ups in the chat, are, too. Are see. you guys getting the chat pop-up where you can uh, take uh, where you can take a cast prediction? a vote? 
Because I'm going to say 10 minutes ago, it would have been easy to vote PJ. But with Polly, it, it's, it was five games in a row, and now yeah. it's three games in a row. Olivia said she saw it. Josh is uh, something else with his talent with electronics, man. We've been we've been using the clips already. Uh, we probably not as many nine marks they thrown. I bet we we barely only got half. But yeah. I, I feel like the old one highlights are. I like to do a couple in cricket, but I, I really like the old one highlights, the one eighties and the and the outs and stuff. So just because I've been trying to when I do make a highlight video, I I want to keep them a little shorter. They yeah. get up six seven minutes. Hard to yeah, watch, especially is. if you're not following the scoreboard and really and don't it's know like, the format. Like all right, another nine mark. And, yep, another nine mark. You know, I mean, these guys make it look easy. That's for sure. And I think I've, I'm going to go ultimately to make it the same length as the song so we can just yeah. use, you know, the highlight songs, whether we use Josh's or the or the Kingy Flay. Yeah, that's a great idea. And that's about I just go off myself. Like most of the time, a video is nine, ten minutes. I'm like, eh. but if it's two and a half, I'm like, all right, I got two and a half minutes. I'll watch that. I agree. So the brother is going with nine, seven Polly as he starts to see a. Come back, get underway here. Cody Cottrell, what's going on, my man? Thanks for the like. Look forward to having you on Saturday. So Josh said he'll put the results up in there from the the poll, the poll results, so that's cool. Nice. It keeps popping up, though, so I don't know if that's a glitch, um, but every couple of seconds it keeps popping up, and I already voted, so just giving you a heads up on that, baby. There's always some tweaks to be worked out, but uh, that's a really cool feature. I love <laughs> I it. Love yeah, because it. it's one of our top questions yeah. we ask, at least. You we know, always want to know yeah. predictions. Predictions are fun, and it, it is hard, and some people don't like to make them because, you know, usually, typically, it's two of their friends, and, you know, this they will, know that they're going to rewatch yeah, it. Yeah, this will like, give you a silent a way clip. to uh, do your voting. And it will probably say. Yeah. <laughs> <So> <laughs> we'll list everyone out after. <laughs> Great shot from Sydney Polly there. who Cody's playing. There, uh, he's coming out with a. He's got a little four-man team coming, and uh, we got a little four-man team here as well with uh, Kevin, Gary Clark, Jake State Farm, and uh, Benny Smith, our final uh, qualifier for the premier singles. That's going to be a great match to watch on Saturday. So make sure you guys tune in at six o'clock. And Josh says he clarifies it is anonymous voting, so so don't feel bad. Put your vote in. So we're looking forward to that. He's got uh, Travis, Denny, and JJ coming with him, I believe. That's going to be a fun night. These guys always put on a great show. Yeah. We're going to look to try to do more of those. We'd like to do some out-of-state features, at least at maybe a monthly. You know, it's I know it's hard for people to come in from so far away and stuff and some... It is. They just get great support from their hometowns. Yeah. And, you know, people have watch parties. And, and, and it really brings exposure everywhere. It does. And, and then their friends see it from there. And uh, the best exposure for us always comes with, with when we get decent exposure with everyone around here. But when we when we spread out and we get people coming in from two, three, and we've even had, you know, four hours away that pull up. And uh, it, it's just good for everybody. It's good for them. They get to play and the support grows. and exposures out there so that's something we're looking to do much more of as we move forward in the future it's another series if you will that we'd like to add and something uh we could look forward to and oh yeah it's going to keep getting better and better get lots of our guys chances to meet you know some of these people as as you know we'll definitely probably have a different feature team most times you know it depends on availability and sometimes we even will have a qualifying tournament if multiple guys want to play we'll like Hey, let's do it out on the stream and see who's on the stream on Saturday then. Yeah, and it's a great way for these, um, you know, guys that don't know each other very well to meet up and just have fun and play some really good darts. Yeah, and see how you play with them. Maybe you'll yeah. find a click a, a gel partner where you're like, man, we played great together. Let's we go dug deep. Shooter, yeah. You know, let's do this. Like I could see these two being a great team together. Oh yeah, you know, one hundred. Like the, the, the way they're dealing right now, I mean. And Polly's still holding on to this game. Paulie's no, tough. He's always been a tough, tough player. So he's, he's scrappy, and he he doesn't really show nerves either. You know, no. He, he's just he always just looks calm, chill. 
Uh, and he um, seems to be con so consistent. I feel like he just delivers. You know what you're going to get from Paul. You know, his his, his TOC uh, number is pretty high. I would say I don't know exactly what it is, but he's got a good average over there. And I think he holds right around a 4-4 in cricket and 36-37 in 01. I mean, that's... Oh, yeah. I've been seeing it in a while, but that's a roundabout where I believe he holds his average. And uh, that's quality play, if you ask me. It is. And that was a quality dart as well. Great that third shot. one, after going off the board, chasing that double, he does pick it up on his second. It saves him one dart for 57 points. So good play there and uh, possibly four on the trot here. Yeah, I think he's going to get these three and make it a four or five match. And, um, you know, he could just go right past PJ, these two guys. I don't know. Oh. Oh, PJ just uh, chiming in for a minute there. Sorry about that, guys. PJ loving the level of play down there. Pretty hype. Yep. So Polly gets that. As he should be. This has been very high. This is this is definitely yeah. some of the highest cricket we've seen oh, as yeah. far as, uh, I mean, you, you the old one set that Kevin and Benny played would, would definitely go down as uh, one of the best ones, too. Not that their cricket was, was bad either, but this, uh, this is a really high level cricket early in the match here. And it is. With two more sets potentially to go, they want to. Want to keep that energy and keep that keep that intensity? Yeah, definitely. Give this a like and a share. Get this uh, match out there tonight. I think everyone should be tuning into this. What did Josh say about? Tom Keller out there. What's up, Tom? Uh, they flagged us for the clips. Luckily, they didn't show us that on Saturday, but we did get copyright notifications. Oh, okay. Not sure what that means. Oh, I think he's saying um. They fla they did flag for the uh the this girl's on fire. Oh, that, that because sound bit? yeah. Well, we noticed it was Sony Music, so I googled was you know what to see if Alicia Keys was Sony Music. At the time of that release, she was. She was with Sony Music, okay. J Records, which yeah. is Sony Music, and that was a 20-year deal. So that... that Always got to find something, that's for sure. Yep. And we thought with it being like a cappella, that it wouldn't go, but I don't believe it was flagged in the U.S. is probably why they didn't take it down. So, okay. And I believe if they did, they would just mute those sections. So Okay. We got fun. With, we had fun with that clip. We got away with it. Yeah, and, it was uh, fun. On to the next one, as they like to say. We'll figure something out. Good shot from PJ there to get his points up on Polly. I had just stumbled on it watching uh watching one of the reels. It was one of the options, and I was like, "Ooh, I'd like to do this when the when the girls come." And yeah, then we weren't even doing whole highlight reels. We were just doing uh, you know, that's when I made those couple small reels. So so we decided uh, instead of making a small one, just put the clip on there and nice do it. There's one of our girls from uh, Saturday as Kasha checks in. What's, What's up, up girl? How are you? Good looking out on those pierogies that were left behind. They were delicious. I, uh, I took care of those. You <laughs> yeah. could safe to say there's none left anymore. <laughs> the food was on point. Yeah, it was just it was just a really great day here. I, I was, uh, you know, they gave us quite a few weeks to prepare, and our, our team's dangerous with a week to prepare. You give us five or six, and. Oh, yeah. We're up there with Hannibal from A-Team. <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together, you know. Hope we don't get flagged for that. That's awesome. What's up, the, Melissa? Chuck, Thanks for he says we in. could have one of our ladies sing the line. We might have to have tryouts down there with the, with the <laughs> yeah. sound booth and the microphone. <laughs> oh, there. yeah, get our good. own clip. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I was thinking maybe even movie clips. I'm, I'm going to start looking into some, and, and you will probably, as as we move forward, we'll probably try to venture in uh, some sound bites and stuff, and just stuff we like to do for fun. Thirty-one to twenty-eight in the voting at the moment. Josh replies. Still pretty even. Polly, uh, Polly up in votes. I wonder where that was at when it was five to zero. Where that where that line was at because. <laughs> If he got those kind of votes, they were just definitely knowing he's coming back. Oh, yeah. 
PJ's a gamer. He realized that Paulie's found his stroke, and now that he's got the little bit hotter hand, so he does. Look he for PJ to turn this around. around. This is exactly the halfway point, I would say. It's uh, five four and uh, well, race to nine, but I guess maybe not the exact half halfway point, but pretty close. We've got about eighty viewers out there, so thank you everyone for tuning in. You are about to see some fire tonight with these two. I'm not even going to ask Stripes what the Glumkey is since uh, since Kasha already has. And if she's if she, stuffed cabbage, is it? Yeah. Okay. Maybe not a Polish name for it because you feel like Kasha would know that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he probably spelled it wrong or something. Oh, that's I guarantee that's what it was. It's uh. People do yeah. call them glumkies. Yeah, um, I can't spell pierogi either, so I yeah. just kind of I spitball at it. I know she knows what I mean. <laughs> I know she knows when I text with the uh, pierogi. Poonchki is another yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Poonchki, yeah. yep. <laughs> we'll have to check with Kasha for the skip spelling on that one. I think That's it's funny. like P-A-C-K-Z-I she or she, something. She got the spelling on it right. There you go, Stripes. Uh she don't know what a glumki is, but she does know what a glopki is. G -g -glopki. <laughs> I mean, Polish like to make spelling hard. They that's do. For sure. Like the, the last Look name. Like last the, name. The, yeah, there's not even a ball. I mean, like. <laughs> I, <know>. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Kat spells it. <laughs> yeah, <Poonchki. laughs> Kat spells it like I do. That's Googling it. All right, Paul's in advantage <laughs> uh, of this set, so or this match to um, tie it up five five. Wow! So we have seen both players now wow, win five, five consecutive straight. games. It started off five nothing. PJ, blink of an eye, it is five five, and we are now playing a race to four. Yes. I would not have uh, predicted this if you would have said. Um, well, especially with the out. the heartbreaking ways Polly was losing. I mean, PJ yes. was ripping the chest out of him last last minute white horse hat trick, yep. double bull, double bull, fat eighteen. I mean, he applied pressure the whole time. Eddie Z also replies, no foul here either. So, yep, true story. Olivia, Olivia, noticing that it's the back-to-back five-zero -back yeah. rounds here. So, and I thought these were gonna go back and forth, if anything. Um, but five straight each is definitely was not in my cards. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see. I, I was kind of expecting it to be at, at two-two, four-four, maybe yeah. just the starters holding, you know. And uh, I'm never right about much up here. I do occasionally get a decent prediction in there, but I don't either. It's hard to, that's why we do it. It's like if you watch every match all the time, all the players in, you still can't call yeah. it. I guess it means it's, Oh yeah. you know. I was curious on how you guys were going to do with ladies night because we be doing some crazy stuff. The shots and then like, the, we'll the just math keep, was yeah. different because of the master out. Oh yeah. Like I noticed a lot of you guys were using that 13 triple 20 on 73 where yeah. a lot of players are lo love the 19. Their 19 leaves 54 and trip 19 leaves double eight, you know, so. But it worked for you. It's one I believe you took out in a, in a key situation. Yep. Kelly Metz as well did it, I believe, oh, yeah. against Olivia. She uh, had a, had 73 left with two darts and went 13 and, and caught the triple 20 in the tiebreaker. And it definitely, uh, I believe we even saw somebody catch the triple there and leave double 17. I agree. So lots of different ways to do the outs when we play master out. Oh, yeah. Livia says that we love those 19s. I feel like it's the most loved number here at the club. I feel like everybody, we saw so many games in, in, in the ladies' event start out. Start out. Both players yeah. are starting on the 19. And yeah, I did not start on 19, only if uh, the 20s were close and I had to. <laughs> Josh says the ladies' math is whatever leaves 60. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Pretty much. <laughs> And when you're down there, you're so concentrated playing. You can make it an error. You know, you just kind of, you know, oh, you even yeah. see the, the pros do it on PDC, the mathematical errors. Well, I had, a, so I left myself a bowl and I had an 18 that left me uh, 32, 32 yeah. and I was able to take it. So it was just a, a lucky miss. Yeah, a perfect fallout, yeah. I guess you would call that, because that mo some people will split that 50 yeah. that way. But with you guys with the hot bowl, it, it's no, yeah. you're obviously not going to split 50 there, but. 
If 50 with the split bowl, most players are going 18 to yeah. leave that 32. So you got to love it when you're one, your 5%er drops. Yeah. It, you know what I mean? <laughs> For sure. You got a 5% chance if you miss that bowl to hit an 18. This is a pretty even uh, match right here. Cat said some of us forgot you can master out on three. Three is the most common. Three and nine and 15, I believe, for the uh, yeah. people forget that those triples that you can still do them. Yep. I do remember exactly the moment Cat's talking I about. Did. She, she had busted. One. She busted yeah. intentionally. Yep. I, well, I believe she busted intentionally. She she had a fat three. Yeah. I don't think she thought it was open out. She just was gonna bust and start fresh. And but trip one is definitely uh. <laughs> Definitely, if you got a shot at it, you would fire Definitely at it. Definitely Must have just it. forgot. Yep. I agree. Because even if you hit a single, you still got double one. Kev says that Scotty 15. I did, I did did get a little bit of a no one for hit, catching that, that trip five for the, uh, oh, yeah. the 15. Olivia took that out, too. She, she did, did a trip five. Right when she walked yeah. in, I want to say she was yeah. warming up. We were up here setting up the computer, and I, I want to say it was like the first game she played. She goes, bowl, bowl, triple five. Like, yeah. yep, she's she's here. She's ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, she's that's been here Scotty out right there, girl. All the five minutes. It was down there. Her dad and uh, their guests got to check the place out, so they yeah. got in a little early and got to throw some darts. That was pretty pretty exciting for us and for them. So Yeah, it was great having them here. Yeah, they really were a great crowd and fun to have, and can't wait to get them back. Oh, they, uh I don't know exactly how the lo long the ride was, but I don't think it was too bad for them. Two and a half hours, maybe. Big shot from Polly right there. Let's see what PJ does on these 15s. Boy, he's throwing fast and straight, ain't he? That's, that's right where I want my trip 15s to land. I tell you what, stack them right on top of each other coming up out of that low corner. Polly in uh, pretty good control here in this leg as well, but PJ's been in this similar type of situation yeah. and, and still been able to get the W in some of those first legs. So let's see what he does here. A little unlucky with that. Definitely doesn't bother him, that's for sure. That double bull is – he is on and that double bull tonight. And then you just put tonight. pressure on Polly, you know. You need to uh, hit these three because I'm looking at three myself. Great shot. Listen, set you had to walk away. We were talking the movie clips. Don't for, don't forget to clip something. Don't forget to clip it. Be our, be right back. So six in a row for Polly. Let's see if PJ can can end that streak and pull this even at six here. Clip from something from BCB. What is uh, BCB? I, I think it's. I think maybe it was going to be BRB. Be right back. Oh. She said she has to walk away real quick. Oh, okay. Is the C and the R close to each other? <laughs> not really. No. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm a lot of something trying to trying to focus on all these things at once. My brain still I got a good pre-stream nap, so eh, brain's still waking up a little. Panic mode hit with the power outage and all that yeah. too. Now you can relax. Everything's it's nice. Good. Oh my God! How did I not remember? Black Circle Boys. That's <laughs> that's hilarious. If you've never seen it, it's like I have the, not. <laughs> it's like it's so terrible. It's it's a comedy because it's a, it was like supposed to be this uh, really good like scary movie, and I hyped it up back in the day. It was terrible. We all watched it. Yeah, I was like, oh, check this out. Like I, I want to say it was like a blockbuster rental. Like, yeah, that long ago. Like, okay, <laughs> and it was just bad. <laughs> It was hilarious. That's great. I'm glad like she a, threw that in there for yeah. you. <laughs> I won't even have to search that movie for a clip now. That's hilarious. <laughs> so tough start from Polly here. Yeah, I just I just wasn't processing the letters there. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's funny stuff. It was like almost like a knockoff uh, Lost Boys, I want to say. It was okay. Like, but not Lost Boys is a, a <laughs> vintage a great, classic. Yeah, it's you know, a great so movie. It, it's nowhere near the caliber, but I feel like it was trying to be the same type of thing. Yeah. Just didn't make it. <laughs> it was a blockbuster rental, she <laughs> clarified. So that tells you how long I, we've been friends. You know what I mean? That's great. So, so uh,. PJ is going to 
Yeah, it looks he's like he's going to take this one and tie it up six to six. He did a little reverse throw in here. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, even pegged a few bulls in there. Sometimes, yeah. yeah, sometimes you just find a rhythm. PJ's he's such a fast player. And he he can, is. He goes all over the board. Yeah, he, he really played well there. Six old. Uh, to tie it at six. Six old to tie it at six. So, beastly game there. These guys are just rolling along in these matches. We've played uh, 12 games and what are we at the hour mark? Yep. 12 games, one hour, and probably the first four minutes of the stream or more or, or you know yeah the, or before they even start playing so their pace is uh really nice so here we go who gets to seven first this is kind of that was kind of how he started on the 19th the last round he missed the uh yeah those the trips just hitting the neighbors Definitely not getting carded these days, Alyssa <laughs> says. I know I'm not. I, uh, hobbling <laughs> in that store there. <laughs> like, yeah, he's good. So just to close. Just to close. So um, didn't hurt Polly too bad with uh, getting just 120 oh, in his first three. he's definitely licking his chops. Especially since it is the 19th. Like I, these guys would be real easy to clean up after too, because I know yeah. PJ has his own Yeti cup, and Polly brought a six pack. So Perfect. Worst case scenario, Perfect. there's a beer bottle down yep. there. <laughs> Those uh, that eight man event, man, this place is a wreck. Yeah, take notes, clean up after yourselves. Yeah, it helps. It helps if those cans get taken down. There is a uh, garbage by the uh, fridge, and uh, he does not save his empties, so you can just throw them right in. Chuck them. We almost should. Yeah. You save the empties, but it's like I, I tried a few, you know, because a lot of the t sports teams and stuff yeah. do can drives, and it's like I don't want to look like a super alcoholic. Like, yeah, I haven't even it's not even you drinking it's, them. Yeah, it's been a year. <laughs> I haven't had a drink, you know, so it's not me. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you hand them out, they're like, geez, dude, the, what is this from? I'm like, Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tuesday night yeah. at the club. <laughs> Ronnie says, note taken. I got it. Chris says, please throw your shit <laughs> yeah. out. Sorry to be so hard on our, our players this there. This is but just anyone in general. Not uh Yeah, it's, no, it's not fingers. directed at anyone. There was all kinds of different stuff down there. Yeah. Beer cans everywhere. So at least the good thing with our guys, they're all empty beer cans. They These are guys don't definitely leave, empty. They don't None leave happies laying full. around. And there's some that don't even, you know... Uh, some guys don't even really bring beer. You got a, no. quite a few. Um, you know, I'm impressed with the the uh, the amount of. Uh, so we have a handful of sober players. It's, you sure uh, do. Newer thing. You didn't see that back in the early days. It seemed like yeah. everybody was always drinking. Yeah, but nowadays uh, it felt like it was more of a drinking sport. You know, mm -hmm. there your dartboards are in bars, yeah. and <laughs> that's all you could really do is it, play darts and drink. And they did, but we're now it's you'll, you'll see you maybe bring them a home. third of the field might just be you know they might have, they might do a shot with the guys. They're yeah, not coming like oh no total sobriety, dude. But they're you know they got a big bottle of water or maybe some pops. Yep, and there's nothing wrong with that. We appreciate. Uh, all players drinking or not chris points out no jaeger is safe if it's left behind and that, that is, is that has always been true here at the yes. club there was always more down there when i was playing though i feel like because oh, i just replace it you know it's yes. like hey if it gets drank it gets drank but we didn't have these size crowds back then you know the Pretty guys sure, a lot uh, more we used to just have the same same four to eight guys and and a lot of them were either driving stuff like that and didn't do too much jaeger anyway so it would last a little longer but Sober darts is hard. I agree, Olivia. If uh, you are not typically a sober dart player, it's definitely a I, I, game changer to get warmed up. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with that statement, Liv. I think Kelly brought a uh, like gallon. <laughs> she always does. Gallon always does. When anytime her or Dean were, we were over here, we had a great time. It was definitely Jaeger barrels. plenty of Jaeger getting drank. Still pretty evened up match here. John Stuba says, Jaeger, Jaeger, never heard of it. Never oh, tried yeah, it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sydney says, sober is easy. So, Sydney, one of them quality players out there that can get it done. Just I like it. Roll out of bed and start shooting them. And got to love that. That's a great feature to have in your game. 
Olivia, we did more than five. Oh, no. Actually, I, I only did maybe three. Yeah. Maybe after the tournament, you guys probably did, I did, did a yeah. couple, too, as well. I but. did uh, one before, one while I was playing, and uh, probably a couple after. So I was just uh, mainly drinking beer that night. So let's see what Pauly does here. PJ again kind of corners him and puts him in that spot where it's not going to be easy. Thanks for the share out there. Thanks for the share. <laughs> don't know don't know that name. I feel like I've seen that in tattoos here yep. around some of those letters. Love maybe, and hope. I don't know which one they are. Love yeah. and hope, maybe. Could be. Could be. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Uh, got a great match going yeah. for you tonight. Definitely good exposure. When If you can't read the lettering, it means players, it does. people are going to see it that normally wouldn't. So yeah. Chime into the chat and let us know who you are. Definitely appreciate the share. Polly finishing strong on that bullseye now, though. Great That's finish. Quite a few times in a row he's done that. So 7-6. Had to have that. PJ played an excellent leg as well, but going second, it was just a little bit dart or two behind. Oh, Chris said they were on the last stream we did. Oh, when it was me and you in here, Chris? I, I think you're right. Well, I, I saw other ones, but I thought it had oh, more. Oh, no, uh, you too, when you guys did it. I thought it, I thought it had more like, um, like four legs okay, or whatever symbols. symbols. Yeah. If you've ever seen the Trevor Noah skit about the alphabet there, it's friggin' hilarious. Trevor Noah has a real funny skit about the English alphabet being 26 letters versus the amount of characters. Oh, jeez. It, it's so funny. <laughs> I have not seen it. <laughs> He's, uh, there's like over 10,000 characters in the deemed alphabet, you know, compared to our 26. Yeah. Like. Oh, it's insane. So, Polly, uh. Is this his first lead or second lead? He was up 6-5 as well. So Paulie's had the lead two times tonight. Once it once it's six to five and now at seven to six. PJ's been able to level both he times. Has. Maybe this is when we'll see some more back and forth wins here now that they're both uh kind of in the groove. Polly definitely um is feeling great down there. PJ is too. Always look calm too. Even when he was down five nothing, Paulie had the same the same body language back there. Same same little routine. Uh, every couple of rounds, he'll go back, take a little sip off his beer, and then yeah. he pretty much just deals the rest of the game. See my uh, good friend and old school dart partner, old Charlie Mack out there. What's up? He says, "What's up, players in the booth? Great ladies' night." I know What's he up, was Charlie? There. He was in there. Uh, most, of, most or all the time hanging with us on Saturday, so. We appreciate your support. Hope you're doing well out there. Big shot from PJ. Yeah. That third was huge. That, that big, uh, really kind of kind of keep Polly try to keep him on that 18. Oh, yeah. Keep him off your 20 if you can. He may get a shot at the 20 here. Oh, actually, I, I'm Seven. sorry. The 18s yeah, were already closed. Yeah, yep. yeah. I, I was thinking he... PJ, uh, PJ closed, closed them that turn, yeah. But he picks up five, so. Is he going for the white horse here? I wouldn't be surprised. feel like he's hit it already boom, like boom, twice boom. tonight. I mean, that first start's a triple. He's definitely, yeah, okay, he decided to point. I, I think 20. the point's a smart play. Go back to. Yeah. And, and he is down a game. In the, you don't want Polly getting eight. You don't want to have to win three in a row. Yeah, thinking about a little more here, playing a little smarter than uh, – Seeing if they fall in the trip or not. Especially at the end of the sets, you'll see these guys play a lot more. Uh, try to take darts out of their opponent's hands. You you just can't let them come to line with game shot. They've showed what they do when they come oh, to yeah. line with game shot. They're they're just uh, the good players. E very equally matched, in my opinion. They are. I agree. And their uh, averages right now too. So it just shows. John Bennett says, "Who's on the mic tonight? We got uh, Katie Vinay and Scott Sandberg in here kicking it live." What's up, John? Hope you're doing good. Paul Otto and PJ Kirk on the line. So hopefully things good with you out there, Big John. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Well, these guys have been relentless at the end here. There's just no they easy have. darts. Was able to get in touch with all 10 of the uh, giveaway winners this week. This weekend, I finally got a well, I got a hold of nine of them, and then the the case was left. So I okay. I just told I told Damien that it was in, but it was a really no choice they had to make or anything. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was cool. I think everybody seemed really happy and uh, excited to uh, to be a part of it. And 
Haim is bringing the uh, masterpiece by tomorrow, so I'm going to get that posted nice. up and, and, and break it to uh, break it out there to everybody. And uh, Can't wait for everyone to see it. I hope you guys like it as much as we do. I, I'm not sure if I sent it to the group chat, Katie. I, I know you've seen it, but I got the... I did get a little sneak peek, so uh, I think you guys are going to love it. It's going to be one of the giveaways for next month. You saw it with the... I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did He did it's so good. It's real nice. I can't wait for him to get here with it. Tristan Ruby, what's up, my friend? How are you? What's up, Tristan? Thanks for the like. I think I saw on Facebook. It's his, I believe it's his parents' uh, anniversary today. So oh, nice. happy anniversary. Uh, 30th, I believe. Wow. Yeah, I thought I read 30th anniversary today. So happy anniversary to your fam. Yeah. Hopefully Jeff's feeling parents. better. I know he was, uh, he had some stuff going on. It wasn't feeling the greatest, but I last I heard, I believe he was home and starting to get better. So thinking about you out there big guy hope everything's all right with you jeff if you're listening so polly needs three actually well, ho hopefully you're not listening on your 30th yeah, wedding yeah. anniversary <laughs> <laughs> oh and he misses the third so pj's gonna take this and tie it up if he gets this bowl which i definitely see him doing johnny says thanks <laughs> for having this set up and playing the stream that is me. That is that is Scotty Sandbag in the flesh, baby. <laughs> win one master, win one non-masters event in your life. <laughs> Never live it down. <laughs> is that why uh, yeah, he, he calls you that? He's always, yeah. That's hilarious. It was that one of the, the the things, but it was it was when I played with disease and and Nicole just started, so I had a lower average. Yeah. Stuff, <laughs> we did win in the final. We played Stevie. Played great too. Oh, and, that's uh, it was a fun event. That's a, that's really fun. That uh, the cabin fever uh, tournament. If, if you've never been to that, and it's nice. uh, I've always had a good time. It's the, those guys do a great job out there, Randy and, and John and, and all of them. Awesome. And the crowd's tough. That's a lot yeah. of a lot of mains players and and nice. some of the old school. Even Wayne Wright and Joey and you see all those old school Kevin Dole guys that I've played against for so many years. Look at these um, guys, man. Just great open. You throw seven, seven? I got a seven, yeah. What up, Jerry? This is definitely the closest crickets that we've seen. Usually cricket's been a, a slightly lopsided. You almost have to wonder, is this it's really going to hurt the loot? Someone's going to have to lose this, and I they're going to have at least seven wins. I mean, yeah. they, don't say it now, but knock on wood, we could be seeing that tiebreaker 13-inch boards I wouldn't match be surprised. Up. What's going on, Jerry? Shooting PPD with Gannon against... Oh, he's he's playing... Oh, he's playing now against Abe. That's where Abe was at. So okay. Abe is warming up. Yep. Warming yeah. up with... So Abe's got a long he, night ahead of him, he huh? He does. Yeah. He's going to be real warmed up. Same, John. John says, love you, brother. You always have fun. Same. I had many, many good times with those guys through the years as uh, we... Our area is so close to Toledo and, and Ohio. We've always played a lot of darts out there and had so many good memories with all those Just guys. Say great memories, I'm sure. Yeah. That's what it's all about. It helps we uh it helps being a Spartan fan. We're both oh, anti gosh. that team up oh, north. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go blue, baby. What up, Damien? Ron Otto <laughs> says he still gets crap because he won level two with uh Tipper a few years back. That's so. hilarious. Definitely not a level two player, Ronnie Mac. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, especially with the old Mark Perry on the squad, but I'm sure you'll never live that down. That's what makes it fun, you know. It is. Guys get give each other the needle a little bit. You so. gotta give them something to talk about. <laughs> Necro Bones, thanks for the like out there. What's up, Necro? Hope you're having a good night. Damian Lofton, my guy, what's happening? Thanks for the thanks share. Thanks for the share. What's so, up, Maggie? I see you out there. Seven, seven. Both players nodded here at seven. Scoreboard pretty close here. Looks like Paulie's gonna have a have a little heat on uh, trip twenty. Goes a long way here. It sure does. Oh, but he, he, he misses, misses it. So it. big opportunity for PJ Nine Mark here would take the lead, but uh, with it you could close. But it's it would leave Paulie the same shot essentially. I'm curious to see what uh, he's going to do I, here. I, it's so hard because how do you not go after it? But, I mean, you're going to have a six-point lead. Yeah. No, 88. So you take the hat off. No, 50. Is the hat off? Yeah. 
He so a 10-point lead now. with triple-triple. He's got a 10-point lead if he goes trip-trip on a 16. Thanks for the share out there, Big John. <laughs> Thank you, John. We appreciate it. I think that's the, the first miss we've seen him do on the corners yeah. like that. He's really played well on those corners. I was not expecting that. So Polly's really looking good here. He's going to shut it down. Mm. So, and if he does, PJ will have one chance to hold and push the set to the 13 inch side. Oh, yeah. And then they will diddle again. And, uh, I know we all want to see it. Yeah, we haven't in cricket. I, I mean, we see it in a lot of the, uh, the qualifiers in the single yep. elimination events, but I don't, we have not been to the 13 inch side on the crickets in no. the Grudge Series yet. We have 01. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a, a couple of times. Yeah, uh, a couple of times, and we've definitely the been there. And the tiebreaker's been almost a, yeah a couple. Of, uh, I know Kevin Benny played tiebreak. Polly and Ronnie played tiebreak. Yep. There may be one more, but those two mo those two are real notable. Yeah, both of them had real big uh, real big games as Kev Kev shot almost a four in his game versus Benny yeah. on the tiebreak. Yeah, and, that was and such a great match. Ronnie had to win the tiebreaker in O one to play a tiebreaker in. The tiebreaker. Yeah. And he won that one, too. So he was 2-0 and oh on the 13-inch side that day. That was a little uh, frustration third dart from PJ there. And the trip 20 after it was closed. Damian Lofton says, how y'all doing tonight? And great shooting the other night by Katie. So doing pretty good. And Thank you, Damian. Thank I appreciate you. that. Yep. Thanks for tuning in and uh, watching us ladies. We love the support. Yeah, he said he actually stayed in on Saturday night to make sure he could catch the event. and awesome. was. We appreciate that. Definitely not disappointed at all. He said it was a it was a good fun night to watch. So I'm glad uh glad he enjoyed it as much as we did here. And let's see if PJ can push this. Speaking of enjoyable watches, to a 13 inch tiebreaker game. Yeah, PJ wants this win right here. And uh, you could tell just we can hear the guys down there sometimes, and you can tell he's a little frustrated with the last match. So hopefully he um. Just clears his mind and uh, puts it on the board to uh, yeah, tie this up. Big dart on that third dart because if he didn't get that, he, he'd, be in, he'd be in trouble. Pauly, yeah. Pauly seems he's pretty much had the same MO the whole time. PJ's, PJ's been intense. He's A couple times we heard him hard on himself. He's not one to necessarily celebrate the great shots, but he's more apt to be a little down on himself on where he feels he's let himself down. I agree with that. Uh, I def it's got to be a little discouraging being up 5-0 as well. And uh, now you're looking at an 8-7, you know. And that's just what, what's great about long play. Mm -hmm. You know, you got you got to, you know, this, is, this is game 16. So, you know, you see a lot of players can, can get shut down quick in a best of best of three because, oh yeah, you know, if this was best of, uh, even best of nine, Pauly would have, it would have been over. 5-0. Yep. It, or, or, it or I mean, uh, PJ, PJ. PJ would have had it over. 5-zip. Yep. But instead, it was a race to nine, and that's what I like about the race to nine, especially yeah. in these grudge series. And uh, if they're gonna give them both a chance to pick it up, you yeah. know, and if they're gonna come all the way out and commit their night to it, it at least they get a real good practice yeah. session in, and and uh, you know some good intense darts, and to get to play on the stream. You can go back and watch yourself and yep. see if you feel like something you can pick up off it, or you know, just it, mostly both the wives are in the in the chat today. Oh, yeah. You know, the families watch from home. I'm sure. Some of their kids are watching as well, and a lot of their buddies and, and partners, and uh, me and Katie. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> One thing I like is, uh, you know, I never really watched myself back on a stream, so I got I watched the whole Lady Series yesterday once I got home. Uh, we were at the Heinz Cruise, and it's nice just to see how everyone throws and, you know, kind of see what you're doing wrong and stuff to correct. So I appreciate it more than anything what you guys are doing. Yeah, you too. Only make I mean, players you, you, better, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, you, you know, everybody, uh, you know, we keep the crews pretty hands-on around here. And, and uh, you know, everybody uh, everybody kind of kicks in to make it better. If somebody's oh, down yeah. and out, we fill in for them. And yep. it's a lot of fun. It is. What looking, up, GOAT? Looking forward to your mom coming in. She yeah. was, uh, she won uh, after the $100 donation. Yeah. She was the second person drawn. Uh, so she, she said she wanted to come and do a uh she was going to pick a couple friends and come play a live stream session so she, she is her and steve Pincombe were the uh two players who chose that so we're nice. looking forward to both of theirs yeah and i think it's going to be a lot of fun for 
somebody who's never been here and yeah to, and the big fans that watch the whole way through, oh yeah you know they're two of our two of our loyals for yeah. sure that they watch a lot of streams and yeah mom does watch a lot you know she just got into darts a couple years ago she plays on my steel tip team uh, me and her shoot doubles on thursdays uh just at an in-house league you know just get good quality time with mama um she likes the game she's you know definitely not the best out there and her throw is a little crazy she doesn't know how to correct it but uh always entertaining and fun to uh play and watch so it should be just a fun night down there with uh whoever she picks yeah, just lose yep. fun environment will help oh, yeah. set her set her up a, a good uh a good format and for what she plays obviously oh, yeah. as we get some of our some of our players with, with the you know we try to adjust our format to the to the level of players that are coming that night so we typically adjust the settings in the 01 whether it be double double or split bowl or hot bowl or 501 or 701 or yep you know even 301's an night. option yeah i'm looking forward to it talked to her a little bit before you guys kicked the party off yesterday i was uh, in touch with her for a minute Howard i like it because she's up early you know i can i'm always so early you know i see yeah. all the early oh, birds yeah. She's I, up early. I think I had Car Carrie had left her darts here at ladies night. And I had them back to her by 730 a.m. Nice. I seen her in the group chat like yep. 610. I was up ready to get a coffee. I was like, yeah, I'll drop them off. I said, I'm going to get a coffee right now. I could just swing by. And she was get, setting up for a garage sale. And That's great. Look at this. PJ is uh, he was down and out he here was and, down. And he's shooting almost half a mark worse. <laughs> and uh, here he is. Right back in this leg. He is. Big opportunity for Paul here. I'd still say first start triple 15 would put him in at the driver's seat. Triple 19. I don't know why I'm saying it backwards here. That's what it's I meant good. to say. But They know what you mean. So PJ probably a, a bit relieved that that 15 survived that still round. Still open. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It didn't, it didn't seem like it was going to with that first start. Yeah. Went Josh out said, uh, come on, 13. I'm looking forward to it too. I would like to see it. Although I'm sure Polly just wants this game to be over. Oh, he's single to close too. That's yeah. tough. Tough third there. All right, we'll see what uh so Polly if does you're PJ, here. You have to love that dart because it's probably going to mean he's going to stay. He could go after here. I feel like he's going to stay on the 19. He yeah. Did. 57 plays bigger than that, a single 15 if he would have, you know, missed that double where I feel like kind of safe now. PJ has yeah. to stay with all three darts. I mean, he and doesn't have to, but. Is he going to close it? If he he's does, he's going to have to have one of those double yeah. double shots again because yep. Polly's taking that away. There's no way he's not. This definitely. Uh, I mean, it's still game shot here. Yeah, that round, leg. that those six marks on that fifteen. But definitely. the way PJ's hit double bullets, gotta love it. He's, yeah. it's four to three. I mean, he's you can't close it all. So no matter what, yep. you got at least three darts for four bulls. Could potentially get six. I don't think he will get six, but he's hit four multiple times tonight. Let's see if he can do it to push it thirteen. That's a great way to start. One, One dart more. for bullseye, and he and does. He gets it. 13 inside. All right. So he's hyped down there. He they got to flip the board. Very hyped down there. Polly's having fun. Daddy. I love the smiles. He's I just, know. Polly <laughs> is like so just chill and quiet. And then you have PJ. He's like everywhere. Yeah. Hollering, hooting. And it, Paul, I don't think we've <laughs> heard like, one yell yet. And it's no. his second match on the grudge. Yeah. You know, may, we may have seen a fist pump one yeah. time. You know what yeah. I mean? And that just shows so many ways to play this game. Some guys 100%. can that emotion jacks them and, and makes them feel good. Are we going to zoom in there? I don't know where it's at. Maybe it, it didn't. Yeah, he said there might have been some. Okay. Been some. We'll just, I don't want to mess with anything. Yeah, maybe. Just 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 we use the button we got some know. tweaks. Should we put the match count up for the 1080? Oh, no. I'm sorry. We're on 13 inch. We're not in a one yet. Yeah, we're, we will uh, very. Uh, Losing it over here. Very next game. So. The All hard right. part, the hard part here for one of these guys is they both had an a, an awesome set, and somebody's not going to get a point. They're going to have eight wins, and zero points because there'll be one set to nothing down heading into the O one. So, let's see who's going to be the winner here, and I expect a good game. He did catches a third dart triple. That, yeah. Man, that's huge. Big third. 
I could see that the 13 inch board may need the tips cleaned out. We did do the other side. I don't, you know, we don't get a, a ton of board games on the 13, so we don't always get yeah. to see, but it does look like we've got and a usually few tips it's just in there. one match. So yeah. I'll get those cleaned out before the All Star Challenge on Saturday. Big shot from Paulie. He's uh, not letting this 13 inch side face him oh, at all. PJ's been good on the 18 tonight. He needs a seven mark here, I would say. Well, I guess he's going 17. Seven mark there works just the same. He gets four. Gets him in the game. Polly just looks so tuned in right now. One more fat and uh, take that away from him. And he gets it. So he's got to be feeling pretty good with this position. Although PJ has showed it doesn't matter how far behind he is. He's going to be close. When it comes down to the bulls, he's going to be in the game. For the most part, through this set, I, it's a little harder to make these big comebacks on the on the small side, but he's one of our most capable players. So, I agree. So he only gets one in that. Big opportunity for Paul here. This you can definitely start to put Just the nail in the coffin with the yep. big six, big six or seven mark here. But if he doesn't get that 18 close, you you would think that PJ starts to can play with that freedom, like Big almost trip. start to feel like you've already lost. You just kind of yeah. just get loose where they all start going in. Let's we'll see what he does. Need some big numbers on these 18s. Come on. Hit that trip. Gets the close. I know he was wanting a little more there. What's he go here? Trip? Yep. Yeah, he pointed. Quid. Okay. So exactly a four bullseye lead. He wants the set. Yeah. Well, if you remember when the in, in the tiebreakers that Paulie lost to his brother, that's it's kinda was the opposite where yes. where Ronnie jumped way out on him in, mm -hmm. in the thirteen and kinda put him out of the leg early. And it's frustrating when you've got eight wins and, and you're playing on this side and you're you're three numbers behind and down a hundred. It, it's not like it is with the big fifteen inch triples. Yeah. So Polly gets two 16s. Come on, PJ is totally capable of hitting three trips right here. Yep. First dart triple will really relax him, and, and you might possibly see the nine mark if he does get that. Let's see if he can at least get five or seven here. Just mm. gets two. So as these numbers start to go away one by one, it's getting harder and harder to have a spot to make a comeback. And it is. And, you know... Even if these 15s are left open, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes bull. Bull's the play, I believe. Yeah, yeah bull's the play. Especially right the way he's right hit the now. double all night. I mean, he's it bull's the play here for sure. But, he, I mean, as I say, <laughs> that, he drills a trip 15 for a start. And Good shot. And that shut down the 17, right? That single? I believe it did. Yep. Yep. So he's, he's running out of match, though player of Paulie's caliber is as he gets to pick these numbers off three fatties at yeah. a time he's smart enough to know he doesn't need a triple All you, really need to do you don't too. need a triple you yeah. want the w it doesn't matter what your average is just throw the three mark oh and he's gonna shut it down oh what bull on his third didn't close the yeah Paulie's not pointing he's going right after it he's gonna go right in and after it you can hear a little cypress hill kicking off down there you sure can how many points with that blocker i don't blame him though <laughs> he's he got he had a few games snatched from him you definitely don't want the set game snatch especially when you go back thinking man he only needed one to close why wouldn't i have just grabbed a couple of points yep well, everybody thinks differently but that's train of thought i would have maybe in that situation Paulie just staying focused. One of our more humble players. Just you could see, pick the dart up, just kind of waits his turn and does his thing. You got to admit, a little bit of an unlucky draw for these guys. Two, two great oh, players. With it on the third. Tough losses and uh, so let's reset that scoreboard. Actually. Yep, we can bring it back down to zeros. So Polly takes that first win. Um, Definitely a great match between these two. Going to the 13-inch side, both shooting great darts, you know, both at the opportunity to win this. Yep, um, probably. I've 
I think oh one's gonna go the same way. Yeah, probably short little break and uh, you yep. know both these guys good at uh, the split below one. I think is uh, something they like to do. You can slide right out the back there. So Katie gonna grab out, uh, get a quick break here between while these guys break. I'll I'll hang with you during the break and kick it in the chat. Matt Maggie says huge win, Polly Shelly, way to go, good set, boys. Team O for Olivia says. Howard Hill says, "Great job on the ladies' night. Appreciate you. That was a. It was definitely a lot of fun, and uh, definitely something we need to keep on the menu. Uh, I thought it was a really fun match. So hold on one sec." All right, it was just a quick, quick touch, touch base from the players. So, y'all, y'all still hanging out? Still about seven years here. They should be back in action within the next two minutes or so. So, we will be back live real quick. And I expect, uh, as you saw the way they were shooting triples, you can expect to see some pretty high scoring. I would believe. Double in, double out, split bull. Kev has our settings already. He fixed them all up for us. So all they got to do is uh, click it to the double double. It will automatically move to the split bull if you're playing double doubles. So got that all set up nicely. Predictions for the old one. What do you guys expect to see after uh, PJ opening up with the the five zero lead there and Paulie able to come back and nip it nine to eight. What do you guys expect for the next one? I, I think uh, I think we're going to see another close match here, and exactly at eight thirty. So pretty good pace for that. Uh, pretty good pace for that after seventeen games set. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure what color those are. This could be orange because sometimes the black lights will make it, uh, give it a different look. But I think, uh, you know, PJ's always a pretty colorful wardrobe guy, so never surprised to see him with uh, some different colors on. So it's always nice to see how the players rally back after Paul. You don't you don't know if it'd be a little relieved per se after the comeback and, and maybe not open as strong, but I doubt we see that. It's just like PJ could be a, a little bit discouraged as well and uh maybe come out a little flat. But the way these two have played, the intensity they've had, I, I won't be surprised they pick right up and start right off with some pretty big scores and uh See some good outs as well. Hopefully, last time Paul was here, he had some really nice outs on the. I think he finished two of the games on well over over a hundred on double bowl finishes. Those are always fun to see. Our match counter is up for the one eighty. So let's let's take some guesses. How many? Uh, what's the over under out there, guys? How many one eighties we're gonna see in this set? Got the record at thirteen with uh, Ben Smith and. The freight train himself, Kevin Manches. Those guys were literally scoring machines that day. Uh, I, I don't think anyone else has even hit the double digit mark. We may have gotten to eight, but those guys were, I believe it was thir it was 12 or 13. Lucas looking for some big scoring with 15. I like it. They do have a nine dart out bonus for the guys that will try to come in on the double 20. Any, any, uh, the first nine darter throwing at the club here. We got a $200 envelope for the first person to get that done. It's obviously with the different formats. It's a little tougher in, uh, in this particular format. But it can be done. Carol says 12. Chris Norquist pulls a 
a page out of State Farm's book. It says one. I feel like we're, we'll, we'll see one ton 80 in this game. That's my guess. What up, guys? I'm back. Katie back. Both got in. Uh, PJ got in uh, first start and then caught a triple. I believe he hit a five after that. Paulie was, must have been in on the third dart, I believe. Ronnie goes with eight. Brent goes with seven. Carol with 12. Let's see what Paulie does here. That's hilarious. <laughs> And it's pretty factual, too. You can fact check that and it might actually check out. I agree. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to leave you with Katie for a sec while I go grab a water real quick. All right. No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. PJ hits a low ton. So he's up a little bit on Polly. Polly's going to uh, go for the 19s. And I see why. Definitely great on that number. Thanks, everyone, for still tuning in. We got 53 people out there, so we appreciate you. Let's hear some predictions. Uh, who do you guys got winning this one? I see uh, Chris has PJ97. Stevie B with uh, 5180s for his prediction. I like that. Ronnie says 3171s in there to go with the 180s. All right. That is true. We do have some 19 shooters in the house. And he's, you know, 20s aren't doing him bad, so brings him right back in. I think the 20, it's just such a confident way to play. It's, you know, it it's is. just. And, you know, he started off on the 19s, and to me, it's like, man, you're hitting them 20s. Might as well start off there. He's going to have the first look at the out. PJ leaving himself the Shanghai finish, so. There it is, Chris. Paulie the did Shanghai. take this out. And the last time he was here, he took this out. He had single 20, trip 18, double 18. That was a, a finish I remember he did in the first game of the tiebreaker set against his brother. Let's see if he can duplicate that right here versus PJ. He's got a dart. And, and he, he does. Gets it. Those are my kind of clips. I love the big outs almost more than the. I agree. You know, because the, the finishing, shot. it's, you know, 20 you're shooting at all night. You're going to see some 180s. But, it was, you know, one dart, double double 18. Otherwise, P.J. with the 120. I mean, P.J. can clearly finish on 120. I agree. Great win from Polly there. And that's a good end from P.J. Gets it on his first dart. Josh says he's going to say that there's at least a 180 mm -hmm. every other game. Depending on how many games it goes to see. I always feel like seven, eight is a safe range to pick with this level of play, but. I agree. Because uh, let's be honest with with the, the double digits, the way Kevin and, and Benny were going at, they were just ridiculous that night with their. And they did play the tiebreaker set. They did. So they, yep. it was, you know, they did three extra games they had of more all looks at And it. they went, it I believe insane. it was nine, seven, six. So they played 19 games and they had 13. Yeah, yeah, it was insane yeah. how many 180s they were just answering each other with them back and forth. It was a real fun watch. The chat was really enjoying it. They were. No, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Ronnie says he took that out on me. He did. Game one of the tie break, I remember it being because uh, you were sitting on something pretty easy. I believe you were sitting on a one darter right behind him, and it was a it was a crucial uh, crucial game right after he had he had just lost to you on the thirteen inch side in the uh, the previous set in the double double, the only double double we've seen on yeah, thirteen. Yeah, I think it? so. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we've actually had two. I think I think one other. Uh, oh, was it Kev? No, because that was nine seven. I want to say, maybe we have. Maybe that is the only time uh, the double double was was played on that. So many streams not lately. I know. We've been streaming. So they all much. blend together, yeah. and it's like, oh, was that the Grudge or the premiere? Even even trying to watch them, you know. Tough burst from Polly there. So PJ in good position to level here as Polly has his first. He is pretty pretty bad round of the. Uh, Sat here and P P 
P.J. will have a chance to set himself up nicely. Let's see what he leaves himself from one, what was he, 199 to start, and he leaves himself with the even 100, so potential two-darter. I see him uh, taking that. Probably wants to get this down, though, in case uh, he doesn't. And uh, he's not going to get it. Yep, so. so six darts from 100, feeling safe that you'll level it. You can do it in two. You'll have as many as six. Looks like Josh is off to work, but he's still tuning in. All right, Josh, have a safe commute in. Yep, drive safe out Appreciate there, Appreciate everything you did today. Saved and keep us up and running. And uh, all that hard work for just to get a call and say, hey, power just went out. Yeah. That's got to <laughs> yeah. be like, Jesus. I know. <laughs> Not much vacation for him on his week off, right? I, He's, know. I told him, I, I know. said, man, he might have worked harder. He was here so much this week. <laughs> Polly had a look at that 182 and uh, gets the trip just, one. Just them down there. It's easier for them. Yeah. So no out. And uh, this. Well, what's he going to leave here? Polly's now got to look at uh, this 119 to make it 2-0. Yeah, you got to go 19 first. I'm sure he knows that. But 21st isn't exactly a safe dart here because 99 is no good. 100 still is. So 57, a much better shot than the 60 here. He knows that he's looking, already looking down there. And he does get Great the 57. First. So now he's going to probably go with the trip 12, the 12. Wow. Double 13 for an absolute steal. And he, and he gets does. it. What a shot. 119. So 110, 119. Going to game three. Polly is just on fire with his outs. Oh, one, you could see rallies. Obviously, we saw a oh, couple yeah. of five game stretches there. But, but well, especially double in, double out. You know, it, it took him his third dart to double in, and he came back and battled that. I felt like when when Paul did struggle in the this the set that he lost with his brother it was it was when his ins would get him. It's never his yeah. outs or scoring. Just a couple of couple of unlucky ins where they're just they're right there. They're just some days they don't go in. I think all players can relate to that. We've all had those types of days on the doubles. I agree. Good time. Regardless 40. to what level of player you are, you've definitely had a day where you felt like screw those doubles, you know. Oh yeah. Howard, I've always loved that nickname, Automatic. I think that's a very oh, I clever. Like that. Uh, I've never heard. I don't. That. I don't know if uh, Howard always calls him that. I'm not sure if he, I feel like Howard's the one that made that up. Maybe it was somebody else, but Howard I love definitely it. says that, and I've always thought that's a really cool nickname. Well deserved, that's for sure. Yeah. So PJ's looking good here. Yeah. Over 35 point. I want to see our first uh, 180. Come on, PJ. Even with a drop dart, too. 121. He'll take so, it. Yeah, we have had good scoring, but we have yet to see a 180 here in the, through the first two legs. So let's see if Polly can break that. There's get, one. First dart will do it. Second's good. Got the Come whole right on. side open. Come Give on. It. First 180. All right, we are the on the board. Great shot from Polly. On the board for 180s, and PJ just going to set this up as 168 will not go out in the double in, double out format. But 87, it would leave himself a nice shot. Probably 51, 36 would be my, what I would suspect. Polly going to pressure the shot again. Is he going to go back to back oh, 180s? Come on. Is he that good? Oh, man. Come on. That would have been Great shot. Sick. 64, he'll take it. Still a great shot. 64, you're guaranteed almost that you'll get at least one dart at a double this PJ, guy is on fire pj should also have a dart at the double at least the double bull tough now it's first. gonna be tough he's gonna have 45 double top one dart for topsy oh and that's the second uh 40 mountain top tough third Just a little little bit of a sailor if Polly snatches another one here that's it's got to be a bit, getting a bit frustrating for PJ because he's really been scoring well and he's just been a little unlucky on his doubles. Yeah, it's Polly's just, just only going to get one shot at a double here, one dart, double sixteen, it go up three nothing. Wow. And he's three for three on them one dart finishes. <laughs> I get it. 
Oh, you can. No, you can, but. Sorry. That's what I was. I don't know. Yeah. After I, I, panicked. I don't know I if like, I even hit it hard enough to clip. We've got so. a new stream deck as Josh swapped this out with the, the big one oh, he yeah. had at home. And now we, we now have 32 Lots buttons, of buttons. <laughs> from uh, the old, what was it, 15, I believe, yeah. on the old one. Yeah. yeah. So. Great start from PJ right there. The stream deck has uh, been. Been been growing. One of oh, the many yeah. things growing around the club yeah. here, you know, everything's getting bigger. So, yeah. but that's what's fun about it, and that's what uh, what makes it better. And we hope to think uh, more watchable for you guys, and appreciate everybody as we're back up over the sixty viewer mark. Took a always take a little dip after the break, and looks like some of the people are starting to get tuned back in. So yeah, appreciate thank you guys for coming back, and checking it out. Josh, your prediction is good so far. Yep, on the ton eighties. And even though this match did go all the way to uh, the 13 inside in cricket, it's been all runs. It was 5-0 yeah. run, 5-0 run, yep. and then now we see this one opening with a 3-0 run, run. And and PJ has, you know, the ability to uh, make this 3-3. So PJ's all, always one of the one of the toughest players. Not not just since we've been here, but when we played at the Freer League, he was. You know, always in the top one, two, three, or average oh, yeah. for, for both games. And so he'll never give up. But Nope. And these guys are both great at their math, so they know what they're doing and what to leave themselves. He'll trick you a little bit. Sometimes you'll think it looks like he's frustrated and he's not. Yeah. But he's, he did not quit. I yeah. yeah, he's. Brandon Lee asked who won the cricket set. Apolly got it on the 13-inch side, nine nine games to eight. Um, PJ had uh, opened up five nothing. Then Pauly tied it at five, took the lead six five. They leveled at six, leveled at seven, leveled at eight, and Pauly closed it out on the thirteen. Yeah. Hi, I see you out there. What's up, Heim? Checking it out tonight. Hope you're Olivia doing well. With, Olivia always on top of the clip it. Oh yeah. Keeping us up there, so Just making sure we are on it. We're looking right at the, the scissors now. We got them hanging up yeah. here in the booth. We're <laughs> our favorite prop around the club here so <laughs> can't wait to chase danny around with him tomorrow when he comes <laughs> over because i will because i will so i'm a bully dad like that he's gonna love it <laughs> all right pj leaving himself 100 Polly looking to bring this down great first start it's like Deja Come vu on. in some of these games every time. It's, he pressures them. He's at an out. Yeah. He took PJ's in and out. He had. It's it's funny. Jason Frederick says, what's happening? My favorite dart channel. Appreciate you. What's going on? My man from the 440. What's going on? Frederick in the house. Leaves himself 40. And uh, Polly took this out game one. So see if he does it twice in one night. Olivia said the kids from school did that, and I think it makes it even even better that it was the kids involved. So I think uh, I think it's awesome. Those are those are great. We I uh, love it. We love them, and they're definitely going to be a, a much used prop around here. So finally, a miss it, a double there on a finish for Paulie. He'd been pretty clutch with his finishing. PJ with a good chance to get on the board here. Yeah, not going to want to let this one get away. PJ is. Happy I don't expect that him to. I expect hit. him to, to take this out, even if he goes all the way to the double five. Yeah, I. I uh, Good shot from PJ PJ's, there. Getting on the board. He's missed a few doubles on his on his outs. He's yeah, been pretty good. Yeah, just a little on high hands. on that double twenty uh, is what got him. Polly came back and took him right after that. So it's so punishing too when you are high. It's it like it, it just it screams at you. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's embarrassing when you're down there. It's so yes. loud because not only does the the you know hitting the tire make that bad sound, but the so the board the board does board too. Board seems pretty loud. Yeah. Chad Gorby says hello from Lorraine. What's going on, Chad? What's going on, Chad? Hope you're having a good night out there. Thanks for tuning in. So pretty even scoring through the first round. Polly with a three-point lead. Yeah, this is pretty evened up. I didn't know if that was uh, hanging over or not. He snuck two trips well, in. Apparently not enough not to enough, distract him yeah. because he uh, he popped back and turned that into 140 real quick. Great shot from Polly. See uh, PJ get a 180 right here. 
Well, might have just called that because it feels like here it comes. There it is. There it Get is. it? Get it. And uh, this one? Yep. And we are good. Well, we're still working on the yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. Just so many. Is we going to get back to backs? Come are on. We gonna, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Oh, oh just perfect high. Shot. Right yeah, in the middle, just high. Just high. <laughs> definitely. Uh, there's Joe Dubois. What's going on, Butchie? Haven't haven't seen him in a minute, so it's good to good to see you in the chat there. Or at least if he, if he was, maybe I, I missed him the other day. It was a pretty busy day in here, but... What's up, Joe? Hopefully everything's good with you. Everything uh, pretty good here after a fun weekend here at the club and uh, potentially two nice grudge matches. We're working on getting Josh and Jerry up there for Friday, both both players with 1-0 one, one and oh in this series, and uh, not sure what the work schedule is going to be, but if we get the opening, we're going to try to sneak them in on Friday night before, uh, before the All-Star Challenge comes in on Saturday. Good shot from Polly to leave 28. Uh, PJ does have an out here, so see what he Stripes does. Stripes has put in quite a few votes tonight. He said exactly 420. I'm not sure if that's uh, an exact number or just because of the 420. Either way, I like it. So let's see what Paul does. looking at this 28. There's Miss Brittany Lenard checking in. How what are up, you? Brit? Thanks for the like out there, girl. How are you doing, babe? Polly takes it. So he's going to be up 4-1 now. Hopefully you guys didn't get interrupted with power over there. I, I talked to Rick for a little bit on his way to work today, but I know after that storm, I, I, I seen a couple people saying in Lincoln Park they may have had some power issues, and Taylor as well. Yeah, that was a crazy storm that came in. I was not expecting that. These power storms this time of year, it's just that high humidity. It man. is. It was so humid today. Yeah, it's that, that's those are the worst, most dangerous ones. That's your uh, that's your tornado. Those hot and cold airs yeah. meet, and that's that's what happens. Oh, Britt says kids back to school tomorrow, so oh, busy nice. uh, time. So same. That's what happened over here, Britt. Love you too, babe. Was we had uh, we had the power out on and off a couple times, and then uh, the last time it came on, it stayed. So, luckily, because the players were already on their way, especially for Paul. Yeah, with that drive. <laughs> oh, the kids are going to school. Hopefully, that'll uh, give you a break during the day. Have them all off and uh, get some nice mom time to relax. I know you guys always appreciate those quiet houses. Kim Wallace said he heard that it might be a couple days before they get in Grand Ledge. I'm not Ooh. sure if that's a if that's a place or a spelling here. Or Grand Ledge is maybe what he meant. I'm not sure exactly where that's at. I believe that's a little north. Northwest, maybe? Pop said, keep it going, Paul. So his parents... Followers here at the nice. fan, not just when they're playing. They watch yeah, all, all our streams, Gordon and yep. Patricia. I've yeah, seen they're them in there. in there before. Hope uh, yep. you guys are doing good, Gordon and Patricia. I'm guessing that's your name since uh, it's in there. <laughs> PJ even PJ. in the chat. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I know. The guys <laughs> like to... It tells you you could you could almost think yeah. oh the players don't care that they're on the stream yes they do they're always chatting oh yeah most of them not a lot I, of them, some of them don't I, and I, uh, I honestly don't know how they do I the last hard, yeah. thing I wanted to look at was my phone when I was down there yeah. and the only time I did look at it was when I was on a smoke break and, and yes. the good news is usually most of all the fans are really encouraging here I would uh, I would say. Uh, you know, it's not much negative in there, but yeah. I do notice the, the players take heavy to the negative. You yeah. know, and sometimes it fires them up, and sometimes it just makes them mad. You know, for they're sure. Like, Why are they saying that? Yeah. I'm like, dude, they're just talking. You know. I read some after and was laughing a little bit, but yeah. yeah, it's always great to see what people have to say, and that's what makes this fun is the banter, and you know, it I does. mean, not everyone's gonna want the same person to win, so it's always nice to. Uh, yeah, the there person. can only be one winner. So yep. when, when there, especially when there's more people, yeah. you get six, eight people in an event, and it's hard to choose who's going to win because, yep. you know, there usually we try to keep the level of play pretty equal. Oh yeah, and the sportsmanship, you know, the friendships, it's it's all good down there. Yeah, no they love all have lost. A great ever. Yeah. time. 
no love lost. These guys enjoy playing with one another, and they realize that ultimately it's it's good for the, it's a good experience for them for the just the the session itself and yep. the practice and so. Although, Probably looking at this one ten for yeah, the third he time tonight. <laughs> Not gonna get it this time though, as he does. Uh, does miss stray off the 20 so he's not going to have a shot he will be able to set it up BJ nice. is sitting at 150 so he does have an opportunity to uh, look at this 32 if pj doesn't get this I, I like the trip 19 trip 19 double 18 but let's see he's been on the 20 so he'll probably just fire right at the triple 20 trip 20 you're only get one shot at it most likely anyways not much chance Polly's gonna miss that 32 so now you're just gonna want to set up 60 would leave 50 so 90 might not come back but you don't want to you don't want to miss it if, if it does so let's see if Polly can finish up with this 32 and stretch his lead to five games to one one oh. dart one dart for a double eight or pj's gonna have three at 90. Oh, he does he get it, it. so Polly up five one um we have seen comebacks here. So. Yeah, I mean this. It was it was five one at one point in the last match, and the yeah. guy who had the one won the set. So it was yeah. Uh, yeah. And PJ's had looks at outs every time, so it's not like uh, you know, it was that bad of a loss. On the fifteen inside, you ju you just can't afford to miss too many darts at double because the players are all so good now that those big doubles they they don't miss them very often. You yep. know, they they might miss one dart at it or or even a handful once in a while, but for the most part. They're gonna uh they're gonna hit those doubles. I agree. Especially they've played already uh 17, 23 games. You yeah. know, this is game twenty four at that point. You're feeling oh yeah feeling pretty good as as dart player usually you uh you know, you, you, you find that rhythm and, and you can just kinda start reeling them off. It becomes, you know, second nature to these guys. We're gonna see our first one five two here. We are big working. shot. Flip it. Great open from Polly. Each with one one eighty, I believe. Yeah. 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 PJ probably slid just outside the curtains there to the bathroom. So if you're Polly, you're feeling real good right now. You took the first set. You're up five one. Just gotta stay focused and uh keep it rolling. So a little loose with the first two, but drills the third. So you had to have that third. But Mr. Uh, Automatic over here has been pretty solid with these good scoring rounds coming in, especially with the one five two. Let's see if he's gonna. He's got a chance for for ten darter this leg. Are there any um, pots for the? Is there a nine dart out or just the, just the nine darters? Nine? The only okay. yeah, the only thing up today. We'll okay. we'll probably uh w with the big uh with the all star we'll we'll definitely usually with more games and all yeah. those different players we'll put together a little uh prop bet kind of thing. Okay. So w with that coming um, I expect that to be uh to be fun. I'll reach out to a lot of the you know how we do those. Everybody yep. does uh, does them personally. A lot of people have done them. All right, so 156, uh, big shot from PJ here. and 180 will leave him an out. 180 will leave 154. Let's see what he does. There were no cupcakes eaten in here. <laughs> they were so good, and I love that she had spoons with them in the metal cups. Yeah. Like it was so... Especially we're touching That's all this stuff. That's kind of how I want. My That's literally my if I from now time. on, can we just say yes. that that is the cupcakes of the 2022 yes. and the future? I thought that, that was, was the best. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Wow! Come on! Clip that! What a oh, shot! Twelve from dart Polly. finish from Paul. So great game as he extends his 156 lead. One fifty-six out. So now it's. PJ needs eight of the next 11 games to push this to the tiebreaker. So it's, you don't want to start thinking too much about that, but you definitely you, you got none to give now. You just want to play solid, 
because every time you win, he's going to go first. You're going to have to be real tough in that two hole. You're going to have to see a lot of 12 and 15 darters is going to be the need to pay the pace you're going to need to hold. And Pauly looking to I get in first out here and continuing the barrage on the triples. Just feeling real comfortable down there. Oh, nobody hit the scissors thing. We forgot to clip the 156 out. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Gotcha. We oh. definitely, we don't, <laughs> uh, that's one that I'll always reach for the clip. Yeah. Even if the out's like sometimes 87 with the two darter. But yeah. the situation, you know, it's, it's to me, it's like. I feel like, like he's had three or four, three at least outs over 100. Well, he definitely started the set with the 110 and just checked the 156. And didn't he take out the 119 a, as well? There was another 110. He did trip 20. Was it trip Was it the 119? We hit the yeah. 57 to leave 62. And then he hit the triple yeah. to leave double. Yeah. Like some, yeah. I think he's had it. Triple three 12 or four. double. Yeah. 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 So he's got three outs over 100. Which it's the same thing he did uh, in the set with his brother. He had, yeah. him on, he had some nice just outs. And, and Ronnie still was able to sneak that out. So. Not counting PJ out, but Come he's, he's got to start to wonder, like, is this guy ever going to miss? I know. And Brandon Lee clarifies it was the uh, it was the okay. 119. Cool. PJ says, God darts. We got the, that God aim, like, like Josh said, in yeah. the track. Got him. I was, <laughs> I was about to be mad. <laughs> no, we got it, girl. There's Polly with the, or Ronnie with the list of the outs. Thank you, Ronnie. PJ looking to get in uh, some practice as we close into the final three and a half weeks heading into the club championship as Olivia solidified her spot as the final player in that field Saturday night. And the field is set. Uh, That's going to be Lenart great. Lenart Customs with Ricky and Brittany produced an amazing award for the champion. So and that is going to be uh, the, the 24th, 24th, September 24th. 24th. Yep. We will start that at 7.30. They're going to play the same format they play to get in, so it is it's pressure. It's yeah. a race to six, no loser bracket. Uh, it's a hot bowl in that series. Nice. You know, all our series are different. That's a hot bowl, 701 master out. So so Olivia is the, uh, the yep. one that did not do that format, but she knows the format very well. Similar format, yep. but not. Yeah, she just yeah. played 501, so not seven. So she knows seven. exactly what to do uh, on the 24th. Josh has got aim in effect. Yeah, so we look lying, forward baby. to that. We'll bring you much more on that. And I'll get a picture up of the, the the plaque that they had designed for us here at the Lenar Customs put the, put yeah, together. It's a great the plaque. Club it's awesome. Can't wait for you guys to see it. And uh, yeah, with some other uh, Himes bringing the piece Himes, over here, so yep. we got some cool pictures we'll share all week. Very cool things coming. So make sure you guys tune in all week to check all that out. Oh, and he hits a trip to bust. Yeah. Rare. Definitely hoping for a single to leave a double top. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah, he was looking to split it. So PJ's going to have to have a triple to get a darter and out here. He's probably thinking 54. I, don't, I can't even tell you. I think he's... I mean, 42-32 you can do as well. Yeah. Oh, tough third just inside. Is Paul going to... What's he going to do here? Same way, right? You're not going to change it because of that. You're not going to go a different route. I wouldn't think the bus was just a little unlucky. Yep, still going at just it. Just get up near that tops. Yeah, it throws it much higher this time. Now one dart, finish. And um, this time he, get, he doesn't get it in. So PJ with three darts at the double five here to pull back within four. And if you got to hit this, PJ, come on. Oh, and it gives him a single the flight. 20. Yeah, his flight hit the 20, so uh, just a tough dart, just the way it bounced. Definitely not happy about it. Yeah, he does not sound very happy, but, but uh, Polly's only going to get one dart, Polly most likely at the double two. Could be double one if he catches a triple here. That's just uh, that's really unlucky for PJ with the things have been... I always hated those bounce out flight bus. Oh yeah, they're just the terrible. worst. It happened to uh, Olivia in one of her matches, I believe. Mm. She uh, yeah, got a bounce out. I do remember. Out. I do remember. Yep. I don't remember the number, but I remember it yep. being a. It was a flight bus for yep. sure. And it was definitely against me. Maybe double I remember. two. Maybe she was going to double two and eight. I think so. Yeah, I think I th she had I, four left. Yep. So PJ sneaks that in, and uh, 
I know he's happy to have that with the uh, bounce out that just happened. So 6-2, Polly's going to start off the next match. There's one of our lucky winners checking in, Steve Pincone. What's happening? What's up, Steve? Thanks for the light. Yep, Olivia said it was the double 15 that busted her. Yep. Ron with a few words of motivation for PJ. Just a little unlucky. Nothing to do with the caliber of play. PJ's had some good caliber tonight. Where Polly's just been been able to. I agree. Kind P of weather the storm a bit and yeah. hang in there and keep yourself in matches. Yeah, PJ has been throwing great darts. As we re refer to as the MDC way. Sometimes you don't always have to throw the best darts. If you don't miss match darts, if you only get one, you know, goes yeah. a long way. I know from experience. Scott Edwards, what's up? Thanks for the like out there and for checking in. How you doing out there, Scotty? Hope you're having a good night. All right, so he doesn't get in. I think he just might be in his hut a little bit. Yeah, it, it seems a little frustrating. He's on his phone a lot more now than he was in the cricket set. Polly with the 171. Great shot from Polly there. All right. Bringing his average just over 35 points of dart. Still mm. calm and cool with a small sip of beer. He has not yeah. changed at all. No. Right? Even Nothing. in the round match, when, when all the momentum swung against, he yeah. didn't change then either. And, and yep. I love that mindset to play, but it's not easy to maintain. A lot it's of players, not. it's an emotional game when you're, you know, it can be a very emotional game. It so. can. And when you play against a vocal player, it, you know, it does potentially affect you know who you're yeah. shooting against and the basement and echoes it's small yeah. and you're trapped down there so, so it's, it's not the, you can't ignore it you. it's huge and these guys no, none of them are bringing no your buds today tim thanks for the like out there not thank sure, you tim i'm sure if tim's one of our newer followers but welcome in hopefully uh enjoy what you're seeing today we've got a pretty uh thank pretty good match here in. uh steve uh pincomb asked who won cricket uh, it, we finally saw a cricket tiebreaker went all the way to the 13 inch side and Polly uh, won that PJ PJ did jump out to a 5-0 lead it was actually an exciting set PJ went out 5-0 Polly won the next five games to tie it at five they tied again at six again at seven again at eight and Polly won the tiebreaker so it was a great set high averages yeah. too. high averages very high set. averages Hey John, what's up? I love I love the. Uh... Hey John, how are you? I heard he's going to be one of the guests with Steve on uh, the, the on their uh, oh, nice. stream that they want. So That's looking great. forward to meeting you guys, having you in. So that'll be great. Got uh, a said they're working the on their guest list. They may even ask for a. They said they may may ask for two of our guys to come in with them. So we're cool. working on setting that up. Make sure they have a good time and. Uh... Awesome. Talk to Norquist. He might even jump in the in the match there instead of official. And yeah. I was like, hey, it sounds like they might want some players. So we got a couple guys in mind. If you guys do need uh, help filling up, and talk, I'll give you a call, Steve. I do have your number, so I'll uh, talk to you about what you guys would like yeah. to play and brackets and and stuff like that, and what games you'd look forward to playing. So I think it's going to be a really good time for all of us. Oh yeah, you guys will have a great time. Barnhill out there watching and says, uh, great battle so far. I got to agree. polly has been real gritty. This 25 is always tricky yeah. for some reason. Darters seem to hate 25. doesn't seem like it's too hard of an out, but, you know, it's it's often after you just miss the bull. Yeah. No trouble with it this time as he takes a 7-2 to two lead. Katie, don't kick nothing, Olivia says. <laughs> if she's not kicking, girl, I'm going to try not to fall out of the chair. You should see how I am sitting, girl. <laughs> I am, like, way far away. I have not, I crossed my legs once, and I was like, nope. And now they're under the chair. I have not been moving much, and I don't think I need mm. a seatbelt. When she first came in, I was I was sitting <laughs> over on the computer side because yeah. uh, Josh <laughs> was having me unplug stuff and, and, and do some trial runs and uh, – she said, did my chair really get moved? I'm on this side in <laughs> one time. I said, no, I'm just working with Josh. I'll still like, read comments. I'm going to Oh, yeah. I was like, I'm oh, you want me on sides. the other side today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so we even got competitive banter here in, the, here oh, in yeah. the commentary booth. Oh, yeah. Always a good time. I like the, the booby <laughs> reference there. Stripe says, no one puts Katie in the corner. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the dirty dancing reference at any time. He asked if I could, uh, if I wanted to stream. I said, yeah, thanks for letting <laughs> me come back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. 
Thought it'd be fun Good just times. get in, you get a oh, recap, yeah. get you back in, in the spot where, yeah, where you've spent a lot it. of time here in the booth. Uh, it's always fun uh, always have a working time together. So Polly with another 171. That's consecutive game 171s for Paul. Great shot from Polly right Believe there. Believe you had one last game too, He didn't did, you? yep. Yeah. We clipped that one as well. Come on, PJ. So PJ with the 180. Great shot from PJ. Good answer. So 180, 171, back to back. This is still anyone's game here. It is. And you could, you could, uh, you know that, uh, you know, if you're PJ at this point, you, you really realize you have nothing to lose. So it, it's, it's a little bit of freedom. It yeah. kind of really, you know, where it's, you know, when it's seven, seven and stuff, you, you feel maybe a little tighter knowing that you less room for air here. Not that you've given up, but you psychologically, yeah. you know, that having to win seven games before a player playing as well as Paul does wins two when he starts every game that after you win is you're up against it to say the least. Oh, I agree. Michael Boone says, always love having Katie in the booth. I got to agree with that as well. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. Hope you're I actually, a good uh, night out I there. actually tried to get Chucky to sneak in and do a guest appearance with you for a little bit today. I, yeah? It was well, he that was his darts in the sleeve. Remember? Oh, okay. The, yeah. So he was. I told him. I said, "Man, if you'd like to," I said, "If you if you uh, want to pull up, I I could." Uh, Katie's coming, and you know you can hang out in the booth for a little bit. He's good buddies with both these players. And nice. Chucky's, you know, founder founding member here at the he sure at is. the club. So it'd be nice to get him in and. Talk darts for yeah. a while. Chucky's always oh, a. Oh, he loves talking darts. Oh, he too, does, you know, and, and he's got insane, a lot man. of great stories from, from uh, we've done a done so a many events runs. together yeah. and so much here. And <laughs> oh yeah, Chucky's played in every setup. He was literally here with the. I think he's one of the guys that picked the name for this place. When love it. So, we will get him in the booth for you guys. That know, all our people out there who know Chucky, which is pretty much most of you, I presume. <laughs> And barring an amazing comeback, it looks like we timed this out about perfect. Yeah. Because Abe going live at 930, I was really looking forward to, to supporting Abe today. So. I agree. So if Polly gets this win, uh, he'll take this uh, set and he'll move on in the Grudge Series. Yeah, and he'll be facing uh, another player with, with one loss eventually that yep. will give him a chance to move into the uh, the survivor the survivor round. Good start for PJ there. People were so, uh, you know, a lot of people were into bringing back the Survivor Series, and that's why we decided to change round two of the Grudge Series to a call-out series. Yeah. We're really going to make it a Grudge Series now because when they start calling guys out, it's I love it's going to create a grudge. And, and there's, that. you know, there's there's nothing to lose. There's $500 of club money going to the 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 person who, who – the last man standing. So definitely – uh. That's going to be a good one. It will, uh, I didn't know yeah. you guys were going to do that. Yeah, so when we get it to... We, I, actually, I, I remember Day Day talking about it on Saturday. Yeah. And I didn't know, like, let's do it. Behind the scenes, we kicked it. Awesome. Yeah, talk, we were talking. Me and Chris yeah. we were talking. And obviously, with you know, Day Day and, and, and uh, Josh, you know, we talked about bringing that part of it back. And, yeah. and especially the guys that are all going to... The two-tier level is going to be sick. Yeah. The, the, I mean, everyone in the event sick. So it once... But the, oh, it's gonna be great. Once you get up there, if you lose, you're out. You yeah, know, you get called out, and, you and get you're getting beat, called or out, or you or you beat the guy who called you out. Yeah. There, you're done. That's a great way to end it yeah. with just the name of it yeah. and the concept of everything. And so that's gonna be awesome. Thing that gets a little bit left out that people forget: the last two guys that have to play each other are the two that nobody wanted to pick. Yes. <laughs> so that kind of sucks too. Oh you know yeah. What I mean, like yep. it could end. It could end anybody. You know. My man Myron checking in. What's up, Myron? Always good to see you here on the stream. Long, uh, long time supporter since our early streams. And what's up, Myron? Always, uh, always in here with lots of dart knowledge and good dart stories. Speaking of good dart stories, Myron's got a bunch of them. Nice ton eighty from uh, Polly there. My favorite is always the uh, "Where do you get the darts?" luck of the draw story that his partner said to him. Shut up. I had a. I had a post that was talking about luck of the draws and things your partner said, and he was at, he said he was at a big draw where it was like a hundred teams. A yeah. partner comes up and he's like, "Man, 
I heard it's me and you tonight. Where do you get the darts from? Oh, shut so, up. <laughs> like shut 100 up. teams. This guy's got no darts. <laughs> he, he thinks the bar's going to supply him. Oh, man. Like, he's, he's probably in for a short night. Oh, man. Especially where Myron lives. He's in a, you know, a darting <laughs> yeah. capital. Hilarious. You know, so there's PJ making a. PJ gets the win. Making it 8-3. Making it a little closer at 8-3. to three. Let's see if he can. Had to have it. Continue. Myron, that's a great story. Yeah, see, true story. Definitely yeah, I remember. One that it was, needs to be repeated. It was my favorite comment. Yeah. There was, you know, darters. So yeah. there was like 170 comments on this page. Like yes. things your partner say to you where you know it's going to be a short night or whatever. I yep. named it. It was after I was all pissed about a bad draw. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I might as well make something good of it. Yeah, and well uh, and uh, yeah, his, uh, that was the one that I always heard. There were some really good stories in that one, but that was probably my favorite one that I heard. So that's great. Oh, and he made some oh, money and he made too. It to the cash too. Wow. So yeah. Well, that just shows how well you played, Myron. Yeah. Myron's a gamer. Yeah, Myron's oh, yeah. A, Myron's an excellent player for if it, you know the people that don't know him, but Myron's uh, been a good player for a long time. That's great. So PJ doesn't get in here. Um, Polly only got twenty one right now. Snags the trip five on his third. PJ hasn't made his mind up about the hat today. <laughs> he's had it on, off backwards, oh sideways. I'm dying. He always does, though. He, uh, he it, does. Yeah, his, It'll he's, be like half off his head. He's like, yeah, I'm a fidgety <laughs> yeah. player as well. I'm picking yeah. at my shirt, my sleeve, yeah. and PJ's a fidgety player yeah. like me. Usually when he's doing that, he, he's playing well. Though. Really when good. PJ's yeah. fidgety. He's, he's really good. The like kid's uh. Like if it was a poker tell and he's fidgety, I'd yeah. be like, yeah, he, he hit his set right there. You know, he's uh, For sure. See, it has it. He comes it's back. Off. It's off. <laughs> All right, he's in. Let's go. Another trip. Stripes says things things that say it's going to be a short night. Oh, damn it, I got stripes again. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. So Pauly with the pretty yeah. good lead here is in a position where he could close this set out and the, then then the match. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to look at uh, at least six starts at this 195. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I feel like 19 is the shot here. Yeah, I like that. You're better at calling out shots than I am. Well, because this the ninety five, you it, single single triple, you leave it at a hundred. What one seventy one leaves you uh, twenty four. Yeah. So I mean, it, it really it sets to stay on the nineteenth the whole way. And with the outset, Polly's taken tonight. He has yeah the one twenty four is in danger. Let's just be honest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's capable of taking that sixty fourteen double bull to to, to, to yeah. shut the night down. He could stay trip twenty trip twenty double two, but why bring the bust into play? Not that you should or. Or would bust, but finish tonight on a double ball. Yeah, cool I that? would love that. Yeah. Good 140, but still not at an out yet. So let's see what happens right here. So let's see. <laughs> Scotty is your calculator, Katie. <laughs> you ain't lying, oh. And we all have a roll around the club. Oh, yeah. I mean, so Olivia, our word was like a handful. They need yeah. a handful of this. Yeah. <laughs> and which is good. And, yeah. and most players, you know, I'm sure we have players of all levels, players that yeah. know exactly what they're shooting and some players sure. that may be learning a well, little bit. Well, like you can be like, he needs seven of those. And I'm like, yep, a handful. <laughs> some of them I do know. I do know uh, polly has got a double 16 to take this win. So with three darts at this, you have to feel he's probably going to close it out here, but we will find out for mm -hmm. sure. Outside. Good sign that he's relaxed there as he leans way forward. Yeah. The first time we've seen that all night, <laughs> he has not. He's not come off there. Oh, But PJ man. is going to get a shot to steal all it right. with, the, with the Shanghai here. We have seen this out on the live stream. I, I, I uh, let's see, was it Benny Smith or Kev? Maybe it was there. There goes the hat. How did he <laughs> land that on the table? Dude, really? it landed on the table. <laughs> no way. We're going to zoom in after this match and see, have to see if that. Uh, I'm pretty sure yeah. that landed on the table. That is hilarious. Let's see. Where's he going to grab it? Does he go? 
Yep. It's on the table. It's on the table. What a toss. Wow. So there it is. It. So we appreciate you guys. We're going to get logged off here because it's about 10 minutes. So Abe's going to start over there at TOC. So you guys are looking to watch some more darts. Go check out our good friend Abe Smith. He's playing online tonight. Um, he's playing in the CSC Division One. So yeah, go root our everyone. friend on. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, you will see Paulie again real soon as he has just uh, secured himself at least one more match. We're yeah. working on getting something up for you Friday. And we have a great event coming for you Saturday. So make got sure you tune in. Yeah, check it out. We're going to get these capture cards and everything. The power out gave us a little scare over here. We might have had something cooked, but we're prepared and ready to fix it and uh, move forward. So thanks for tuning in. Yep, you guys have everyone. a great night. And uh, until next night. time, see ya. See ya.